Hello and welcome to Cutting Through the Bull in the Post Through the Apocalypse. Also on Twitter now. Hey. At Apocalypse, Apocalypse Bull. Bull. <laughs> and the Facebook page is Cutting Through the Bull. Cutting Through the Bull. Yep. As always, I'm joined by Gaz. Hello. And Mike. Hello. And with our shameful plugs out of the way, we can talk about the zombie apocalypse. How to stop you getting your face chewed off by a rabid zombie. <laughs> Everyone's obsessed with zombies, it seems. They, they do seem to like them. Well, I, have an, I have an article I'll read later, a professor explaining why, as a culture, we're so obsessed Ooh. with zombies. Because uh, I'll point this out at the start, I'm sorry, I don't want to fall out with anybody or upset anybody, but I'm not the world's biggest zombie fan. I've got to be honest. There are some movies I like, but I don't watch Walking Dead. Sorry, don't judge me. It's okay, because that show kind of has gone a bit flat. Okay, there you go. Yeah, um, I, yeah I, I still think it's okay. I, I stopped watching after... Ne- spoilers. After um, Negan did his thing, because that was what I was waiting for. And uh, Oh, that was a brilliant scene. Yeah, it was. And after that, it all just went a bit... Uh, yeah. People talking in dark rooms in whispers. Yeah, there was some dodgy um, CGI as well. Was there? Yeah. yeah, there was a bit where they saw like the whole trash yard, and it was all CGI, and it looked really bad. It wasn't up to Game of Thrones level. Oh no, no, you not. Sorry, guys. Um, <laughs> no, I wasn't. Uh, it's fine. Um, yeah, I just. Uh, I mean, I like it. I get it, but it's just I need my, I need the bad guy to have more. More sort of story motive than brains. Like they're just eating you because they've got a virus. It's just survival. It's just yeah, nature. It's the most, most primitive, um, yeah, it's primitive the, yeah, motive. It's I the reptile like, brain. Yeah, yeah. I prefer like you know a guy That's... killed the stars, the 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 protagonist's wife. You know something like that. I need you know leave the weapon too. All right. Okay. Okay. As soon as you find out they killed Mel Gibson's wife, you know they're fucked. You know. And that's the kind of shit okay. I Okay, now think about this. Lethal Weapon 2 with zombies. No, fuck that. Ah, see, now you started... <laughs> so much better. No, you started if a you rant. you had zombies to anything. No, you started a rant that I was going to have, like... Because one thing I really can't stand is zombie versions of things. that like Because I've seen zombie versions of all the Marvel heroes, DC heroes. No, they did an entire I've, zombie universe. I've even seen zombie Transformers. But fuck that. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yes. You, how can yes, you have a zombie exactly, transformer? Exactly. But, so... Does it make sense? Come on, all the films are better with zombies. No, all the no, games are no, better with not. zombies. Ben, what's the best bit on Call of Duty? Um, no, when I you're fighting that. Nazi zombies, isn't it? It is. That well, is quite well, fun. More specifically, zombie... Okay, more specifically, zombie versions <laughs> of already established characters. I hate, because the whole point... If my hero is dead, and he's kind of failed on his... Hero's journey right from the start. <laughs> if he's reborn, then he had to fucking die, and he's not much of a fucking hero. I need my heroes living. Superman's living. died. Jesus died. Oh, all right. And somebody pointed this out to me earlier as well. My favourite movie, Robocop. That's kind of a zombie movie. Yeah, the anime. yeah. But he's not fighting zombies. He's fighting like fucking corporate terrorists. That's kind of a zombie. It's a, ah. it's a plague on humanity. <laughs> he's dead on the inside. <laughs> 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 We got deep, man. We got, we're getting political again. No, no offense to you, Apple. We're getting political on your ass. <laughs> we love you, Apple. We love you, Apple. Um, yeah. So, do you want? Should we start with the the high the 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 Haitian 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 Haitian? Haitian. 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 See how cool also, we are here. Also, you know, hope you're okay in that hurricane. If you're listening, yeah. you'll be listening to this later. But I hope you're all okay. Well, be careful, don't, because my hero Hulk Hogan has got himself in fucking trouble again by calling people because Irma wasn't as bad as they expected was it and he actually no. lives in Florida too and he kind of called people that were complaining about Irma he, well the word he used was crybabies no. and in this day and age you cannot as a celebrity oh sorry if you heard that people I just headbutted my microphone <laughs> professionalism <You're, yeah. laughs> if you were a celebrity you cannot even remotely you can't call somebody a crybaby especially somebody who's in a hurricane and now the hulkster is being forced to publicly apologize and explain himself which is fucking ridiculous his point was there's people in houston way worse off than you because they're still underwater you lost power for a few days crybaby so anyway that's my hogan yeah, but if, i still if, love you hogan if you turn off the power 
and the cable and the internet. I'll write within three hours, mate. <laughs> I'm switching internet soon, and they said there was going to be a ten day gap. Holy fuck! Oh. Yeah, are you all right? It's man? fixed now. It's fixed. Oh, oh. oh. I was going to say, Jesus Christ, you can come stay by him if you want. <laughs> fuck! Imagine no that, man ten days. Put, no man should be put through that. Ten isn't, days to no internet. Isn't that quite depressing? And we've grown up through. Mm. We, grew we up had no internet, yeah. right? When we were kids, believe this or not, the younger viewers, when we were kids. No such thing as the internet, and then we had dial up, right? Oh, it was slow that. as hell. You had to wait ages for the tips to come into focus, <laughs> right? I'm it curious. was no one could use the phone because the internet just hijacked it, and they knew you were looking at porn, and they knew you were looking at porn anyway because it's all anyone ever did back then. <laughs> It's like, ooh, porn. And, and of course, you had a few internet message boards, didn't you? Um, like fandom stuff like that, Star Wars, Wikipedia, maybe. I don't think that was about then. Wikipedia. You had a few sort of message boards Maybe. for various fan things, the X Files, AOL online. Yeah, AOL was, and yeah. I literally, just used the internet back in those early days just to read cool shit. Honestly, like I would literally Google just like movies and TV shows I loved in the eighties or whatever, just obscure things and find that there was other people. Like, oh, wow, there's a whole website. Literally, it comes up every episode, more or less. The 18, for example. Yeah. Red Dwarf, for another example. I found other complete and total mm. fanatics, which was amazing. Was MySpace in Donald? Oh, yeah, I was on MySpace. Was that May, maybe very, the very early days of broadband, maybe. Mm. MySpace. MySpace was the first social media I had a little blue pig called Hitler. <laughs> He used to feed. You have to feed it. I was like, I miss it. This will be dead now. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone who just pressed play at that point. Oh shit! Mike doesn't really miss it. Well, <laughs> no, wait. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he, no, wait. No, he doesn't. Wow, that was a mindfuck of a question. It was. I had a, I had a red llama called Bastard. What? <laughs> a red llama called Bastard. Yeah. Yeah. That was um. Yeah, I just never really took my social media very seriously, to be fair. Oh, I thought you meant you had an actual pet. No, no, no. No, it was on MySpace. His name was Mike's, Mike's Hitler Pig. I knew That's someone that had a pet goat. Yeah. He's in, like, in real life on MySpace. He's in real life. Real life. This is a friend of Did he use it for Satan purposes? Probably a friend of all of ours, I imagine. And uh, their family had a pet goat, and they had to get rid of it because it shat on the ceiling. What? No. <laughs> <laughs> they came down one morning, it was shit on the ceiling. <laughs> Oh, okay. no. <laughs> How did it be projectile <laughs> shat? I mean, Can goats I've projectile kind of done shit? That, but it tends to go downwards. So yeah, towards... gravity takes over <laughs> at a certain point. <laughs> Must be all like cocaine is ass. <laughs> <laughs> oh, well. Um, uh, can we just hit the pause for one second, guys? Sorry. It sounded a bit listening. like Ace Rimmer then. Just for one second, guys. So, we are back. Moving um, away from goat shitting on the ceiling. <laughs> yeah, we were very briefly talking about goat shitting on the ceiling. And um, that's obviously the work of Satan, isn't it? And way too much cocaine in that goat's arsehole. Hail, hail Satan and his <laughs> cocaine goat's bots, bottoms. That's all I can say. <laughs> so, should we get into the main... Oh, do we, do we have any news topics this week? Um, we're under attack again, I the, guess. The rapture. Oh yeah, the rapture. Um, um, that's a week away. Did you say twenty third? Apparently, same day as Nibiru shows up. So Nibiru and the rapture. Enlighten yeah. me as to what exactly the rapture, excuse me, entails, because I don't really know. <laughs> it has well, nothing to do with the from end, a book, isn't it? wasn't it in the eighties? Yeah, a book called from uh, called Left Behind. There's a whole series of them. Two American evangelical preachers wrote okay, them. Yeah, and whoa, 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 hang on. I thought the rapture was from like. The Bible. the Bible? No. No, it's not mentioned in the Bible. It's all from the. I can. I can't remember their names at the top of my head. No. Um, but yeah, these books are called Left the Left Behind series. I believe there are terrible TV movies of them as well. Oh, well, there. There are. Yes. Mm. Where joy. Basically, everybody who is has accepted Jesus into their hearts. And he's baptised and is a good Christian, which isn't many of them, um, yeah. will be removed immediately from the earth and taken to heaven and that's it. All the rest of us they scumbags. They leave their clothes behind and just ascend. Yeah, naked. Clothes on you. Naked. Heaven's just one big naked party, apparently. May I say that the only thing I know about the rapture is what I've seen from the American Dad episode. Mm -hmm. um, and which is a good awesome, episode. Good episode. Awesome episode. Isn't there something to do with trumpets? 
The, um, the buddy here, an angelic you. choir, no doubt, trumpeting your ev triumphant entry into the kingdom of heaven, maybe, yeah. Because yeah. I like have that. seen videos that were posted recently of these trumpets being played in the eye of these hurricanes that have been happening in America. Right. I mean, it could be the sound of very high speed wind whipping through a sort of space or area, or it could be heavenly. Or Trumpets. there's a music shop in the way of the hurricane. <laughs> <laughs> Have you heard? It's pretty creepy, but it's clearly wind. But I listened to like I found this shout out to them Ground Zero Media. Um, that sounds like a 9/11 conspiracy it's, it's, website. It's, they're on actual radio, syndicated radio in America. Like I'm not sure how popular stations they're syndicated on. Ah, but I find them on Stitcher, where you can also find an amazing podcast called <laughs> Cutting Through the Bull in the Post Through the Puckers. But anyway, he was playing clips, and I then looked on YouTube. People have said that the sound of the hurricane sounded a bit like an alien spaceship from the movie. I, I can believe that, yeah. And it's more it, plausible it, than Trumpets from Heaven. It's quite creepy, the sort of... It could boom, be the boom, boom, echo and the gunshots as people are firing into <laughs> the hurricane. I've never established that last week. People have been shooting... At the hurricane, in yeah. some some very misguided attempt at saving themselves. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so it's there could be, and I'm still I'm half convinced that these hurricanes were man-made. A lot of people seem to think that. Um, and have you noticed too, to all our our listeners out there, that there have been a distinct lack of chemtrails since all these hurricanes started. Because no one's because flying through a no, bloody hurricane, that's they, why. They've done their job. They've done their job. No they've pirates flying through hurricanes. No, not over here. There are no chemtrails over the brisk. I saw sorry, some, everybody. I hit the microphone. I'm I saw some chemtrails the other day. No, chemtrails have... Well, I saw, sorry, I saw some water vapour left behind by hot air <laughs> but left from <laughs> the jet the engine. Just record, everybody, I am clearly being facetious. <laughs> I do not, do not subscribe to the chemtrail... Theory, but it has the chemtrail people are off their fucking heads at the moment, loving this. Look at the lack of chemtrails, it's proof. They've done their job, and now it's weird. So yeah, is that what they sound news. like? Yeah, they do. <laughs> fucking idiot. They sound like, like cave trolls. <laughs> <laughs> what a segue, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. So, Zombies. That, that was the news, by the way, everybody. That was this week's news section. Um, and I'll, I think we can all agree we're getting more and more professional as the weeks goes on. Yeah, so we're so either... I'll do a jingle. Dun, dun, dun. Well, on to the main subject. I would just say, as a brief end to that, that look at it this way. 23rd of September, we're either getting wiped out by a giant tsunami, or we're going to spend the next seven years fighting demons. Mm. It's a win-win. <laughs> <laughs> it's more interesting than what I do for a living usually, so <laughs> fuck it. Didn't you say the other week that... Your granddad enjoyed quite enjoyed World War Two. Yeah, because Telford was so fucking shit. Yeah, yeah, that's which is where we live, by the way. Yeah, he kind of uh, <coughs> it was like yeah, I could go back to home and go to the pit, but I could have Jerry shoot at me for a while. <laughs> I know which one's more exciting. <laughs> yeah. Go on, granddad, swig a beer for granddad. Swig a beer. He was of course part of the alt left. <laughs> no, let fucking right. Come on, zombies. 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 Apocalypse. Well, Zombie Nazis. Oh. Yes, that's one of the few zombie films I have seen. Nazis from the center of the earth, which features Nazi zombies, but it's and a mecha. Mecha yes, Hitler. I've mentioned it before. Mecha Hitler pops up at the end, but that's still not wasn't that to save. Wasn't that Castle Wolfenstein as well? Yeah, it's a rip. It's from Asylum Studios, who basically find out what movies are coming out and rip them off based on the title alone. Ah. And they, it's called um, Muckbusters. Um, and they catch a lot of heat in Hollywood because they basically trick stupid people in foreign countries into buying DVDs that they believe to be, like, for example, Transmorphers, <laughs> a classic of theirs, which I have forced myself to watch. <laughs> Fuck, there's nothing redeemable about it. But they make enough money to be in business. They release almost 30 films a year. Wow. Something insane. And they're yeah. responsible for Sharknado and... That's a classic. Uh, all five of them are kind of so, um, <laughs> you know mega shark versus fucking mega octopus all that crap yeah but they that's make the music all the producers isn't it yeah <laughs> they find out that it's it's it you make more money off flops on broadway than you do uh people yeah. flock to see the failure that's it well there's a um and here we go there was i can't remember her name i apologize to listeners but a famous she was in the 40s or 20s sometime like that she was a singer but she was terrible 
and they brought her to America and put her on stage and people flocked all the great and good all the rich to see her just to mock her wow and but oh, she had such an amazing pretty... attitude about it though because this famous quote from her was they might say I can't sing but they can't say I didn't sing hey I like hit it. the mic again sorry this mic is new to me um, and I apologise. Have we mentioned that we've got a new microphone? We've got a new mic. Well, they know we've got one because I've headbutted it about 16 <laughs> times in 10 minutes. You will so have a concussion by the end I'm of the new, show. I'm new to this. I'm new. So, so what, come on, hit me then, guys, because I think I'm the least zombified, uh, zombie-experienced right. guy here. Should we do our, our top um, zombie films? Uh, or should we at the end, I think. Yeah, like, do, Haiti, Haitian zombies. I got it right. Haitian, Let's Haitian, start, yeah, start Haitian. With a bit of history, a bit oh. of um. Okay, the history. Okay, it can. The, the furthest back I've found is the tenth century. Anyone find back further than no, that? No, no. Yeah, it's a person called Akadin, and he wrote the Epic of Gilgamesh. Ah, yeah, yeah I heard about this on a documentary yeah. today. Yeah, and that's uh, about leprosy, isn't it? And sort of zombies, I sort of think. That, raising oh, the dead to to attack the living, basically, wasn't it? Along I'm those lines. Sh- no, I'm not sure. So it, yeah. you're, you're probably a bigger. Well, no, I saw this on. I watched a brief documentary before I left. A uh, History Channel documentary about zombies, and yeah, it did mention Gilgamesh is the first known. Yeah. Something to do with Dead Rising, the first kind of mention. Of yeah, that. and it's actually drawn from earlier um, Sumerian mythology. These so, Sumerians yeah, get about yeah, it, didn't they? I mean, it's the a cradle of civilization. They're, they're right? knocking around in Anunnaki stuff. They're knocking around in zombie stuff. They, yeah. they made an appearance in Ghostbusters. The, ne- <laughs> the necromancers. I mean, the nec- right? fucking necrom. It's from there we just we and you know we get Necromancer Weekly. Yeah. The, the fun magazine for those wanting to raise the dead <laughs> for your own uses. Um, I spent a weekend with Marilyn Monroe. <laughs> I'd love to. Um, and believe me, it wasn't. The dead what, yeah, it was the dead version. It wasn't great. <laughs> um, well, it's quite. In our culture, though, because the basic, the basic element of a zombie is it's a dead corpse brought back to life, a yeah. reanimated corpse. And it's Unfeeling. Been, we worked out very early on as humans that uh, dead people need to stay away from us because they're very, very toxic. They, that they uh, are. And they give off, I wrote this, are you ready for some science, dear listener? A dead body, when it decomposes, gives out gives off over 400 different chemicals. Wow. And some of them are incredibly pungent. Uh, no. Yes, hence the smell of death. Uh. People say, once you smell it, you'll never forget it. Um, so we've, um, And the oldest known grave is 225,000 years old, Ooh. and it's in a cave in Wales. Nice. Um, it was so in we, the... So we, oh, I don't Welshman? know who he was. <laughs> then, Obviously. So even back then, though, they were either... <laughs> Ritually, or they understood science-wise or just health-wise, they need to be far away from it. We either burn the fuckers or we bury the fuckers. We just—it's not good for us to hang around. Yeah. They affect our water. The chemicals that come out that gets into your water. Yeah. You... Well, I happen to know that's how the Mayans vanished. Ah. Okay. They threw a load of they had a bit of a plague. Right. They threw a load of uh, the bodies into what they thought, you know, it was um, like a bit of a well, an underground reservoir. Yeah. Um, not realising that that kind of shit does not go down well when you're feeding your cities off it. Right, yeah, it, and washing so, in it, I imagine. Yeah, so you can make a calendar, but you don't know where to stick corpses. <laughs> so, yeah, so it's quite a primal thing then that... Um, we don't like dead people. No, they they, we, they are quite scary. We never have. We don't really like death. They remind us of our own mortality. There you go. Um, so, so yes. Yeah, so Gilgamesh was how old? Tenth century. Tenth Gilgamesh. Century. I like. Can we say that? I think that sounds, that sounds better. Um, the Epic of Gilgamesh. <laughs> yeah. Say it like M Bison. <laughs> <laughs> um, I can't think how he sounds now. It would have been Gilgamesh! <laughs> <laughs> Something like that. R.I.P.D. Raul Julia. Oh, bless him. Street yeah. fighter, never forget. Um, so, yeah. <coughs> Where do they show up then? Do they disappear from Gilgamesh until the 60s when Romero popped up? Or is there... Well, no, you... All oh, the Haitian stuff, yeah. Haitians. Um, I've got some Haitian stuff. Because a guy went out there and actually um, tried to scientifically explain all this Haitian stuff because it's a very prominent urban legend that comes out of Haitia. Haitia? They do love that shit. Do, Haiti. Do, 
Haiti. There Haiti. you go. Thank you, Ben. <laughs> A resident <laughs> geographer. <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm not. I, I can't hold. Uh, I can't hold anything for that time. I can't even say Haitian. <laughs> Just so, about. Sometimes uh, I can say Haitian. I know the capital's Port-au-Prince. I think. <laughs> Fucking so, I mean, college boy. <laughs> so this is from um, from the website, the wonderful website, HowStuffWorks.com. Oh, yeah, fantastic! Yeah, it's a brilliant website, and they also have a brilliant podcast. Haitian zombie powder. Ooh. Which sounds like something I would definitely snort without a second <laughs> of um, hesitation, but then for about six weeks of being awake, really, really. <laughs> and that has happened before. Um, you know, all I'll say to the listener at home is never accept powder of an unknown um, source from a Polish man who doesn't speak much English, who's so much bigger than you that you feel inclined to definitely do the powder and then stay awake for it. Obsessive, uh, disgustingly long. <laughs> I'm just, I'm just warning you guys. You know, I go through it's, these it's, things so you don't have to. It's that, a valuable public safety announcement. Yeah, I think that was a horrible week. I did self dentistry that week. That's how fucking high I was. Oh hey. fuck! Yeah, self dentistry. I couldn't feel pain. That's not something I've ever, <laughs> ever fancied doing. Yeah, I've never thought to myself. Me neither. Hmm. Self dentistry. No, I wasn't doing it for fun. <laughs> I was just pliers. <laughs> I was just that I couldn't feel pain. So yeah. Maybe hey, why should... couldn't you have become a superhero for those days? I day? don't know what I took and I, to this day. I mean, no. because you could have been shot and just carried on. I mean, when you put superhero... your power. Thoughts didn't come to my head. Why don't you I'm... put your powers to the use for good and just do a bit of amateur oh, dentistry, for I, God's I, sake? I performed open mouth <laughs> surgery on myself for about eight hours in a mirror. So, yeah, just don't accept unknown things is what I'm saying. I just think you could have done so, so much more with that gift and not be able to feel pain. There should be a warning label on that somewhere. Yeah, don't you know? joke shame me. So, <laughs> make your self dentistry. <laughs> <laughs> and lots of bloodlust. <laughs> it was like a horror movie when I woke up, like, a few days later, I had a white T-shirt on. You look like mix- a fucking zombie, the, I bet. The, the, yeah, the mixture of saliva and blood. Oh. I literally just, I look like I'd been in a Rambo movie. Did you have b- bits of brains on your face? <laughs> <laughs> Are you sure that you just weren't turned into a zombie for a few days and <laughs> well, feasted on the homeless of Wellington? <laughs> Maybe. It would be a feast. <laughs> it would be a feast. No, right. Goddamn economy. <laughs> okay, Haitian zombie powder. So there's some bloke called Davis. Dr. Davis, sorry. Um, he travelled to Haiti at the request of Dr. Nathan S. Klein, who theorised that a drug... Oh, OK. What year was this? We'll wind up. We'll wind back a little bit, sorry. And once again, like I said, all credit to HowStuffWorks.com. Because this is... A, and the art, art article was written by Tracy V. Wilson. Uh, credit where credit's due. Thank you, Tracy. Um, thank you, Tracy. This is an awesome article. So, zombies are common in Haitian stories and folklore. Researchers studying Haitian culture have related countless tales of bodies brought back to life by, excuse my pronunciation, Bokor, or sorcerers, also known as the WWF superstar, (laughs) Papa Shango. Didn't he have um, (laughs) Papa Shango? (laughs) Didn't he have um, Jesse Ventura undo his spell for a while? No, he he fucking, he fucked my, maybe this is why I don't like zombies. Is he a voodoo priest? He was, he was a voodoo priest. He made black shit. Run from the Ultimate he, Warrior's head. He did, and yes. And he puked up in a toilet in the backstage with black shit pissing out of his head. I found that upsetting as a child. Sounds like an X Files episode. Well, maybe, maybe that's why I don't like fucking zombies. There's a pop of fucking shaman. He was a voodoo boy. priest, voodoo um, shaman, if anything, voodoo shaman. So, so uh, right. in 1988, no, 1980, I apologize. In 1980, a man appeared in a rural Haitian village. He claimed to be Claire Vivas Narcisse. Who had died? Was he a wrestler too? It sounds like one. Who died in the Albert Schweitzer, Schweitzer, Schweitzer Hospital in De Chapelles, Haiti, on May second, nineteen sixty-two? Why is it a German hospital in a French-sounding? Because I'm sure Haiti is a French colony, possibly, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. German. What did you oh, say? Yeah, the but, name um, was? Schweitzer Hospital. S- sounds German. Swiss, maybe. Maybe. Swiss dude, maybe. On, Swiss. I didn't name the goddamn <laughs> hospital, Mike. Sorry, it's innocuous. Oh, oh, you're going to claim this whole story to be bullshit. <laughs> Wait, this is on a reputable website. So, so uh, where am I? In uh, what was his name? Narcisse described being conscious but paralysed during his presumed death. He had even seen the doctor cover his face with a sheet. Narcisse claimed that a bokor or Papa Shango um, had resurrected him and made him a zombie. Since the hospital had documented Narcisse's illness and death, 
Scientists viewed him as potential proof for Haitian zombies. Seems fair. Okay. Um, Narcisse was the impetus for the zombie project. A study into the origins of zombies conducted in Haiti between 1982 and 1984. During that time, ethnobotanist and anthropologist Dr. Wade Wilson, no, <laughs> Dr. Wade Davis, travelled through Haiti in the hopes of discovering what causes Haitian zombies. Next, I'm going to tell you what he discovered. Go on then. Was um, it a zombie by any chance? And this is where we get to the Haitian zombie powder and what led to my, my very dark and horrifying story that I probably shouldn't have shared with the internet. Wouldn't that have been Polish zombie? Um, uh, yeah, so Polish <laughs> zombie, powder. zombie fish powder. <laughs> so Davis travelled to Haiti at the request of Dr. Nathan S. Klein, who theorised that a drug was responsible for Narcisse's experience as a zombie. Since such a drug could have medical uses, particularly in the field of anesthesiology, anesthesia, 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 yeah, yeah, and the ology of that, um, Klein hoped to gather samples, analyse them, and determine how they worked. Davis learned that Haitians who believed in zombies believed that Bocor's sorcery, not a poison or a drug, created them. Uh, we'll skip to what he found. Um, Davis collected eight samples of this zombie powder in right. four regions of Haiti. Their ingredients were not identical, but seven of the eight samples had four ingredients in common. Right. One or more species of puffer fish, Ooh. which often contained a deadly neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin. Is that like the episode? Oh, sorry, sorry. Simpsons. Tetrodotoxin. Yeah. Yes, it's sorry. actually a thing the, in Japan. Yeah, it's yeah. real. Them puffer fish will kill you. You have to be a skilled chef to be able to mm. prepare it. Cut out the right part. I've uh, seen the Simpsons episode. I yes, know where I am. Me too. The second ingredient, a marine toad, real name Bufo Marinus. Ooh which produces numerous toxic substances. A hyla tree frog, Osteopelis domesticinus essesis, and that was perfect pronunciation. <laughs> the Latin, um, yeah, trust yeah. me. Great. Which secretes an irritating but not deadly substance. And the fourth ingredient, dun, 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 human remains. Oh, what kind of human remains? I mean, like... Not the leavings of human, just, uh, well, it's just, very just bits of body. So, essentially... I'm going to I'm not going to read out their entire um article because that's probably uh not cool. Essentially, he a lot of people ridiculed his work because he thought he found that this powder did have these kinds of effects where it could paralyze somebody for a while, but not, you know, they're not going to come back from the dead and start requesting brains and stuff. Oh, like that. man. You know, yeah. So yeah, there is some real there was some science done. Uh some guys tried to get to the bottom, and I think these urban legends have obviously spiraled. And you think there's a bit of truth, a kernel nugget of truth. A, I a, think a they may. Have, nugget of truth. Some of that. these Papa Shangos may have done this horrible drug to someone who's then been buried alive. Yeah, but then there have been reports. Of yeah, it. but yeah. then rediscovered later on and been like, holy shit. Um, but then there is also, I God, I should have done some research on this. Have you heard of that drug? Fuck. Bath salts. And ghost. No, ghost. Um, it's mostly the most dangerous drug in the world that you just blow into somebody's face. There's a Vice documentary on it. It's not yeah. conspiracy theory. You blow it into somebody's face and they lose all sort of, um, like, will. Like, you can literally get someone high on it and be like, let's go back to your house, uh, give, them, give me your money, your keys, your, and they'll just be incredibly obedient and docile that sounds like we'll the CIA help people, into, yeah. help people commit crimes we'll just give you you know uh, yeah and so, where could I find this <laughs> South America Ben really all the good shit is but yeah, yeah um, does anyone fancy a trip to Brazil <laughs> well yeah um, yeah I'm on the ayahuasca so that could be because the reason it got me onto that thought sorry was the so I think there's some element of truth of the paralysed people being buried alive, mistake of the dead people. But then, um, where does this idea of them, like, there's a different idea of a zombie is not necessarily reanimated, well, but a say, thoughtless thing. Something yeah, what are the yeah, main causes then of of? Go on, then. What okay, so we've got we've got the voodoo voodoo zombies voodoo zombies. We've got the virus, uh, which by the way is an amazing name for a band. The virus. Voodoo oh, voodoo zombies. <laughs> yeah. It was actually the zombies back in the day, wasn't yeah, yeah. it? Of course. And the voodoo glow which, which the I can't, what's, what's the name of the song? That famous it's one. Called zombie. Time Camp. of the season. Oh. And it's got the best line in the world. He's like, 
Hey, you know, he's chatting also. Hey, go. What's your name? Who's your daddy? <laughs> <laughs> One day. Oh, <laughs> and that would be actually be the worst song to hear in a zombie oh, way. Imagine if that was on repeat in the apocalypse. Worst, some worst song With to listen to in a zombie. And their bombs. And their bombs. <laughs> and their guns. Zombie. So, you know, oh my god, I know. No. I fucking know there is. I know, I can see them. Mm-hmm. They're fucking. They're all. They're all around us, man. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm cross-referencing films there. Uh, sorry. So where were we? The, the virus. The virus. The virus. Which virus? No, the, no. I'm just saying this is. Oh, the, is it? The, we talk about the general yeah, zombie the general virus. Sort of zombie virus. You've got um, the nuclear zombies. Ah, uh, yes. It wasn't. Um, Night of the Living Dead, the very first one, wasn't that shit falling from space? Apparently, yeah. Some they satellite. Yeah, well, yeah. In satellite. the article I'll read later where the, the professor explains why we're all obsessed with it, he does say, I think, uh, that that sudden 60s obsession with it was a direct result of World War Two and the nuclear bomb and seeing to that generation actually and seeing what can happen. Yeah, the Holocaust. Like, yeah. The, yeah, fuck. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty dark times, man. We we don't we take take it for granted. Yeah, it wasn't real. It was just it was just books to us and just documentaries think. and pictures. Like we didn't live it. You had the um, Holocaust and the nuclear nuclear bomb. Yeah. That's uh, and the world war. I mean, fuck me. That is a hell of a double whammy. It is. Yeah. No wonder we're two and a half minutes yeah. to midnight on the doomsday clock. Are we two, two and, literally two and a half minutes to me? Yeah, when we get to two, we, we were three, and then Trump got elected. It went straight to two and a oh, half. Oh man, Trump <laughs> cost us thirty seconds. He has a mood for like a decade or so. Yeah. <laughs> so worst it's been since the Cuban Missile Crisis. Oh for fuck's sake! <laughs> What's the best it's ever been? I don't know. It's, it's probably like always been. Minutes, something like it's that. probably always been hanging around the ten two mark yeah. for quite a while. Maybe fifteen it? minutes. I don't know. No. Something like that. No, oh, like, no I'm repeating down. myself, but I do still have that end times feeling. That you know, really and, and the more. I mean, the History Channel has actually started a show called The Apocalypse now, and it's like all <laughs> the ways the world could potentially. It's like, oh yeah, there's definite end times, and even the, the advert for the show is, oh, there's an end times feel, and you're like, mm. motherfucker. Yeah, you know, I can't escape it. It's like oh, I'm programming us ready for they're, it. They're getting us ready for it. It's gonna be. It's, it's like it's but shit's gonna go down. We consume more apparently when we're panicked. We all. That's true. We do. And we make stupid decisions. Yeah. So apparently that's why. Again, back to it. These hurricanes were man-made because look how much business is gonna happen in the rebuilding. In yeah. The, oh you know, God, the Sickness yeah. of it, man. There's a hurricane. Yeah. There's a shortage of water, food, uh, clothing. You know things like that. And these businesses go in and they charge exuberant prices because yeah. the demand's there. Yeah. yeah. That is our system. I mean, I'm sorry, that is horrific. It's like festival prices, but... <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was a trader well, got no for many years, and it's perfectly fair. I used to argue, when people used to argue that we were charging £2 for a lighter... <laughs> which, is always, exhausting, no, which is exhausting. I always had the same comeback. I would always say, well, feel free to walk yourself to the nearest fucking spa shop. <laughs> Rosley, have been there? Free, because all day I'd have to deal with people going two pound for Rizzlers, you fucking one pound in a shop, you fucking you robbing. Fu-. Wait, hey, get your fucking wellies on and go for a march to the spa shop where there's still a fucking pound. But guess what? Festival rules, festival prices. No. I will extort you. You are fucking vulture. <laughs> you and all your kind, you're vultures. <laughs> Capitalist Ben, <laughs> they, call it, they call it vulture capitalism. Well, I tell you fucking what, vultures. Festivals are a lot like zombie apocalypses. And about three and in the morning, day, they are, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Day three, man. It's pretty apocalyptic. <laughs> <laughs> and on that note, P break. Oh, P break. Right, we're going to finish the list. Oh, man. Finish the goddamn list. The list. And we're back. Okay, so Hello. the next one is uh, obviously God. Or a supernatural deity bringing back the dead. Are you including aliens in this, or is that a separate entry? Aliens is a separate entry. Yeah. yeah. So we're looking at the religious holocaust. Yeah. Well, the famous tagline to dawn the dead, when there's no more room in hell, the, the dead, dead will walk the, the earth. earth. Doesn't it say that in the Book of Revelation? I feel like Winston quoted it in Ghostbusters. But I was thinking about this today, though. Okay, I know there is a lot of dead people. There is. There is a lot of dead people, but. A lot of them died fucking ages ago, and there'll be hardly fucking anything left of their dead bodies. Yeah, that is true. It's not like people will get. People need to die bones, before man. they get bones. The virus. Last yeah, but there's nothing connecting them. What's the virus gonna reanimate some fucking 
disconnected. Uh, this is the religious Dis- ones. Oh. There's magic. At, there's, there's supernatural yeah. magic oh. at risk here. Yeah. Car car. <laughs> it's um, <laughs> like so. They're yeah, being animated by. Love him, but is, here we go then. If, has anyone got a Google machine attached to the internet? Yes. Is there more alive people than dead people? No, of course not. No. No. Yeah, but so then. But how? What percent of those people that have died? They, they died so long ago. There'll be nothing left. So there ain't gonna be that many. Mate, fresh. they pick up Neanderthal bones. You know, it's not gonna work. Nah, there's no sinew. No. Oh, right, so let's let's say this through the the people who've been dead in the last, last what fifty years, say. No, I reckon a body decomposes real fucking fast. I'm just guessing. I'm sure it does. Even a buried one, in a casket, coffin for UK listeners. Um. Not if you're a pharaoh and you're entombed. Ah, oh, but they used to remove the brain. Yeah, but there's not that uh, many of them. There's more of us than them. My point is, I think, it might be over quicker than you think. If enough, there's enough of us, live people... That's the trouble, though, isn't it? It spread so quickly that soon there's more dead people than are alive. Yeah, and the thing about every single, every single person that dies on your side is another one coming back. To try and kill you. To try and kill you, so eventually you're going to find yourself pretty outnumbered. No. And it's been he shown is... that a virus, like, could spread. Yeah, when we look at the bird flu, the whole yeah. uh, avian flu yeah. thing. Anyway, I mean... this, is, this is God supernatural. Yeah, yeah, but you oh, this is God, kill... God and supernatural, yeah. Hang on, no, no, wait, bird flu. Necromancers raise the dead. Two seconds. You don't though. need sinew and DNA. Nah, that's... nah, I'm not buying that. Are you using magic? Bird magic flu. with a K. What happens... Listen, bird flu. I, I work for a wholesale company uh a diy wholesale company that's my day job but i'm not being a international jet setting professional <laughs> conspiracy smashing reporter on the interweb um, <laughs> right and jay's fluid it used to say on the can kills bird flu i remember bird flu was the big thing it was going to kill us all it was people were fighting over a drug tammy flu or whatever it was that could save us and what happened to it they didn't Jay's fluid it out of existence. Well, they should have. Maybe they did. That's what we just never just heard about it. People remember the panic though, and Jay's fluid could get away with. So maybe Jay's fluid will help us in the apocalypse. Just douse yourself in Jay's and fluid. And if you need Jay's fluid, I can get you it at wholesale prices. <laughs> just contact me through Facebook, Facebook, and we'll set up an account. Um, <laughs> Hang on, if in the apocalypse, I'm supposed to be giving that shit away. Ah, fuck you. You will pay. <laughs> well, you will pay. Well, it, why Jay's am I going to pay for mine? Oh, not you personally. No, no, no. Okay, I'll share with you and Mike, but. No. Good. Okay, well, we'll be podcasting. We'll need our James. Well, we'll, st- we'll still be broadcasting through the apocalypse. Yeah, well, yeah. we've got a week to go and we're going to find out. Because really, honestly, I know I keep coming back to it. I do feel... I've, I have smoked a lot today specifically as well, but this week I've smoked a lot. The last two weeks, to be honest. I really do have a strong feeling of... But apparently the conspiracy theory is I'm supposed to be feeling like this. The reason all these disasters have come... Oh, sorry, I hit the mic again. All, the, all these disasters have come in such quick succession, as well as the solar flare and a bit of terrorism stuff as well. It's all apparently designed, they want us to feel a bit end times at the moment. They're playing into the zeitgeist thing of Planet X is out there and it's all. Yeah, because it's the fear card. We're going to consume us, more, aren't we, I guess. It keeps us buying, it keeps us mm. subdued. And I'm feeling it though. I really, I don't, like I said, I don't know, I'm smoking too much and maybe doing too much of this research, but I have got a sort of, yeah, I think I weirded out my friends earlier. Um, <laughs> Because I was just like, yeah, man, I really kind of half believe we might only have a week left. Just look, man, that the whole system is failing. The system we live under is failing. It's failing Mm. a lot of people, and it's failing them hard. Yeah, I feel pretty failed, man. I work full-time. I can't really afford much. You see, once you sit sit behind the curtain, there's no going back. Mm. Well, let's just see. I hope it doesn't end next week. And if it does end, I know I might sound a bit defeatist here, but I hope I die. Yeah, really quickly. Fast. I hope it's just a massive wave or a massive energy beam or whatever it's going to be. I don't want the wave, man. I don't want. To, I don't want the whole smash to I death. Of scene. I'm not slaving in no. anarchy gold. I'd rather no. slave in the anarchy gold mines and live to fight. I'm not day. fighting no. zombies in the apocalypse for the rest of that. my life. Why not? I'm not fighting that. demons for seven years. In my imagination, I'd love to say I'd. I'd be the leader of a gang of like an army. I would be an absolute. I'd be the fucking Clint Eastwood of the post-apocalyptic world. I'd be kicking ass and taking names, <laughs> but that's just fantasy. The reality is. I'd be a sh- 
a terrified little sniffing <laughs> fucking shit bucket of uselessness and I don't want a poem. I want a poem about the apocalypse. What's the last thing you want to fucking hear? Exactly. Nobody wants fucking poetry in the apocalypse. <laughs> what fucking you survive? <laughs> So I hope when the wave, and I've thought about it, the wave will hit at such velocity, it'll be so huge that it will smash you. It's not like you're going to be underwater drowning, like blah blah blah, having time to contemplate it. No, you'll see it from the distance, that's the shit bit. Yeah, you'll wrong. see it in the distance and we'll huddle together and we'll just hold hands like at the end of Toy Story I'm just three. hoping for God my being physics is no. going to help me through. <laughs> 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 oh, well if I can't get the trajectory of that wave, the highs and the speed. No, I, I hate to break it here, man, but... You're as fucked as me. Sorry, your <laughs> yeah. ain't gonna help you do shit. Well, you know, and that wave is gonna hit and just smash you. Yeah, into my death. degree in creative writing is gonna do even less. You know, if you smack your head too hard, you're dead pretty much instantly. Cheers. Um, that's what will happen when the wave hits you. And there'll be so much debris in it. And I thought, have you ever thought about this? How big a flood and wave has to be to wipe away civilizations? It's cities? gonna be a big and ass it's, wave. It's beyond our comprehension. It's, it might take planes out. It's that huge. Yeah. Mm. It, well, that's maybe a bit ridiculous, but. Yeah, so I, I just hope I die. I really don't want to survive the apocalypse. I don't want to be one of the people responsible for setting up the next version of society because, come on, like I said, what, what, I could teach them everybody's... The name of every WWF superstar... For Legends have to be passed move. on. These yeah, things have to be passed on. Story to, I could be the shaman. Exactly. i got a lot of drug experience and a lot of hey, pop hey, culture experience. Re Reign of Fire... Um, Christian Bale's character yeah. entertained the kids by telling them Star Wars. He kept well, that story alive. I right? that's, and that's a terrible film as well. It really should have been better. Which one? Reign of Fire, about the dragons. I, don't, I haven't actually seen Oh, it. man. The, the poster for that film had like Apache gunships fighting oh, dragons man. over a burning London. Yeah, so was I. Oh, so was man. I. Then we end up with, with Christian Bale stuck in a fucking castle. Oh. Teaching kids about how to survive dragons. <laughs> it's just... Oh. oh, and then some Americans turn up. So, it actually really made me hate Matthew McConaughey for a while, that <laughs> film did. Because he turns up as some fucking drunk-ass redneck dragon slayer. It's well, fucking awful. I'm guessing You're ashamed fact, of yourself. I'm guessing the fact that we've just been on another massive um, pop culture tangent suggests that we don't put much credence to the religious zombie apocalypse. No. Then. No. Well, well I, I, I can say... Can I, I just say that I quite like the last man alive scenario... The Amiga Man. I like that. I I would oh, be quite man. happy with I've that. I've said I am legend. It no. doesn't look right. good. I've it got me dog. Well, man. I've got you know. I've got Max. I've got me. I've got you know. I've got arms of the teeth. I go out at daytime, thrash around a few cars. I don't know. Uh, fabricate an existence. Yeah, come back home. Shoot mutants at night. Seems like a good. Seems like a good deal to me. <laughs> Oh, the beer will be fine. Because it's all... get in. Yeah, well, they won't get in, will they? They did in the film. Well, only because he took one of their own. I won't do that. I'll just exterminate them. I'll learn my lesson. I'll learn the lesson. But what Suffer if... not the mutant to live. So you want... Mm. No, but you're... That's the romanticised version of it. Let's think about the reality yeah, of it. Yeah, right. Reality is, shit. Oh, the you... reality of it is you're going to have to learn how to grow things, how to sustain yourself. You're going to have to... In a, ra in a radiated wasteland. Heal thing. yourself. Yeah, you have to buy drugs. Get, not buy them, exactly. Uh, work out. You know, you get, an, you get a cut of infection in the apocalypse. Well, it's not There's as There's plenty of fucking shit lying around. It's if going it, to suck. If it was the rapture, if it was a religious thing, everyone would just go, boop. I just go into a shop, take what I need. Okay. Calm as fuck. <laughs> just see, just see naked people flying to the sky. Just, it's my chance. I've been waiting for this. <laughs> exactly. So I'm always on 24-7 rapture. Oh, I am now, mate. In this rapture, though. Okay, explain to me. In this rapture... Oh, shit. Fuck's sake. In this rapture thing... So, everyone goes to heaven. Except... So, do I instantly go to hell if I'm a helper? No. You oh, stay, stay here. Behind to fight. Yeah. Fuck. Oh, you choose a side. Oh, you, you choose a side. You an awesome... Uh, I'm a big Kevin Smith fan. And he wrote a script that... Surprisingly, he couldn't sell. Oh. Um, called the Crapture. You've just brought this back to me now, <laughs> right, which was about okay. the people left behind. So the idea is Jesus comes and lays waste to everyone who's yeah. left over. The Jesus who comes back is a sort of Godzilla style oh. giant mm. laser firing from his eyeballs, Jesus. Awesome. Fantastic. And you know one of them old school like Goku movies, I think they're called Goku. Oh, I'm probably I'm gonna get ripped apart by nerds now. Because I love these movies, the old school Godzilla where it's oh, a man yeah. in a suit smashing yeah. up a set. Yeah. The old yeah. Japanese. Yes. Yeah. I'm sure it's called I'm getting this wrong. Anyway, 
one of those style movies about the people left behind having to fight the 50 foot Jesus yeah, and yeah. survive and it was called The Crap Chip. Surprisingly, yeah. he never found a home for this really? script. No really? I'm, I'm genuinely surprised. It that would I... need a big budget, see. And there is, not a, comedy. Major there is a comedy where the apocalypse happens, isn't it? And the, like, the ground splits up and people, there are demons. Have you seen it? Yeah. Uh, yeah, it's a good film. It's got Emma Watson in it. Who was? And they try and rape her, and it's got um, oh, Seth geez. Green. <laughs> that sounds quite. That yeah, sounds they terrible. try and rape Emma, Ro- Emma Watson. What, the girl from Harry Potter? Yeah. Oh my god! Yeah, that sounds horrific. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you could have been a dream. You... <laughs> <laughs> I hope not. No, oh, man. It's, it's your flat, but get out of here. Seth Rogen, the fat one. The what fat one? Name? This is a problem the with having a joint, and then eating a cheese sandwich. The fat one. Oh, 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 yeah. Um, the, oh, shit. Jonah Hill. Jonah Hill, yeah, yeah, yeah. Emma yeah. Watson. Right. A comedy? I can't remember the name. Okay. A good old rapey comic. You know? rape. I'm, I'll, I'll look it up as soon as I get yeah, into I'll, I'll IMDB the shit out of that. Yeah, good, good old rapey comedy. Fantastic. And um, what's the next one, Mike? We're going to be doing a film religion. It's a good place Should to end it. Should be moving on. Should be moving on. But Mike's, Mike's either rapey <laughs> comedy <laughs> series or <laughs> fantasy. It's just a scene in the show. They try and rape it. It's the apocalypse. And the... You did say this could be a dream. No, it's it a comedy. <laughs> comedy. Seth Rogen. This oh, true. you're the last woman left in the apocalypse, so we'll attempt a gang rape. No, they like, <laughs> joke about it. They're like, no, you know. Oh, oh right. Oh, no. Rape you. We're not going to rape you. We're not going to rape you. Oh, right. Okay, so this well, has got horrifying to slightly. Well, I think they better. do try and rape you. Oh, right. I don't remember now, but. Okay. No, we'll get away from the rape. Let's, let's, let's move away from that Next. part. Next. Next. Yeah. Okay, uh, <laughs> I've got Sorry. lightning with Frankenstein. Zombie. Frankenstein's monster. Yeah, Frankenstein's Let's monster. Let's give him his proper name. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. It's B. It's B. Well, yeah, okay. So, no, but that, isn't, that, isn't that back to sort of nec- scientific necromancy, would you argue that is? Hey. That is, that's, yeah. So a band's yeah. called what? <laughs> but that's the name of the album. Voodoo, what scientific nec- Voodoo Zombies. Voodoo Zombies, Scientific Necromancy. necromancy first. Ah, and the opening track is called Mr. T in My Brain. Yeah. Uh, call back. Hey. We've done enough episodes to do actual yeah. callbacks. Wow. Yeah. Kill him, sucker, kill him, sucker. So anyway. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. This, yeah. Yes. To my previous point though about Robocop, yeah. this falls under this because Robocop is reanimated, isn't he? Scientific yeah. Necromancy. Yeah. He's yeah. dead reanimated because I guess they needed... Now then, now let's really think about this. Why did they still need his? It was his brain power in the system, I guess. I think they still needed oh, that human element of decision making. Otherwise, it would have just been Ed Two O Nine. You need that building, but he was so like, but he had those dreams, didn't he? Well, yeah, because he's got the brain there. The they never sh- did. They shoot him in the head. Yeah, he took one. Remember when he takes his mask? That's off, right. There yeah, is, there is one yeah. in the head. Um, but yeah, Robocop. This is why. I, I think I did mention this on the pre on the Darth episode maybe, but a lot of people think the Robocop movies are quite a clumsy, not even that well hidden allegory for the Christ story, just wrapped up in sort of modern. Except Jesus satire. kicks some ass in it. Yeah, it's just yeah. wrapped up. It's Verhoeven taking a piss out of the American dream principle. Everything really. He's just he's ripping American eighties American culture and new arsehole in that movie. He really is. Yeah. He's dressed yeah. up like a lovely action movie. With the coolest fucking costume design, I think. To, to this day, it's still... It doesn't look cheesy or 80s. It looks fucking awesome. Apart from that terrible series they did in the early 90s oh, of it. That, we, was, we that ruined his legacy a little bit. We, we, don't, we don't talk about that. I mean, or where, the remake. But yes, but it's I the never same watched thing, the remake. Because uh, so I, I decided that it was just shouldn't be done. But again, our obsession with reanimating something. Yeah. Um, revenge as well. Most you know of these corpses Frankenstein come back to revenge. Comes from... Actually, I, this is a new factoid I heard the other day. Was it a bloke called Frank in style? No. <laughs> oh, my. It was, um, you know, around that period... I apologise for that. Carry that, on. <laughs> fine. that period where... Um, uh, was it the 20s or, or even earlier, 18... Where basically where scientists and medical people were obsessed with putting electricity into dead oh, people man, yeah, and you ever dead seen, elephants. Oh, God. It's going to annoy me now what his name um, was. But he, 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 he just shot corpses for a lot mm. Huh. It was a like when you when he figured out you could stimulate muscles electricity. Yeah, yeah, that's got... what they, do, they could make someone appear to be yeah. talking. Have you seen that QI but... episode where that guy's got electrode? They're trying to make him smile. 
and yeah. ca- capture the picture. So yeah. like he's got like in places like that, yeah. like that. Well, Mary Shelley seeing that inspired her to write Frankenstein because that was you can imagine put yourself in a try to put yourself in the mindset of a somebody an intelligent person in that day and age who hears that people are pumping electricity into yeah. corpses trying to reanimate them. That's gonna freak you out. And Do that was her sort of response to it was being like, hey. That doesn't sound fucking good to me. Fucking like, <laughs> trying to reanimate the dead, you know. Um, so yeah, the Frankenstein thing, Robocop is definitely in that vein. Um, are there any others? Any dead and then resurrect the Bionic Man? I suppose. I just, some we always think that it's a lot of the, the thing of this is coming back from the dead for revenge, isn't mm. it? Rather than mm. oh, hang on, Death I'm, I'm, make, I'm making a connection. Hey, classic. classic. I like that. It's a good yeah, film. I like that. Yeah, it's a good movie. Good movie. I had, a, I had a tangent going then, though. Sorry. Whereas well, it's sorry. always like, it's the opposite of the Jesus story, isn't it? Mm. Because Jesus comes out from the dead, yeah. All right. So and he doesn't go out seeking vengeance. He doesn't leave people's brains, as far as I know. Doesn't leave people's brains. Just you know, does his whole, I'm holier than now. See you later, bit. Here's but in every other thing we do, every everything we've ever made, where someone comes back from the dead, and we can put the crow into this as well. Hey. The Crow. Um, technically, uh, one of the best revenge movies ever made, Man on Fire, Denzel oh, Washington. I fucking yeah. Get yeah. shot, that. left for dead. Apparently, it's a remake, that movie is, Man on Fire. So I've never seen the original, apparently 60s or 70s, but that Denzel Washington yeah. one is in... I, I'm going to go out there and say that's in my top ten yeah. of movies. Good that's film. A, yeah. Fucking If good, you should fall no. with Denzel Washington. No. no. He, he fights that demon... Oh shit! Yeah, it, yeah, it keeps changing. It keeps doing the Rolling people. Stones song all the time. Yeah. Time is, on, and that's how he knows the the, yeah. the, the demons in the body because he's singing "Time is on my side" that's by the Rolling film. Stones. That is a good film. Yeah. But have you noticed how it's always the dead coming back for revenge rather than a mission of peace? But this is why. I don't Isn't like that sort of weird? That, that's that's weird. Well, it's because they want revenge for being dead. What can the dead bring to the table? Well, Not Jesus brought compassion and understanding, oh, Mike. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Robocop brought. He bought Swift Justice. Swift Justice. The Crow bought Swift Justice. Swift Justice. Uh, oh, the Kill Undertaker. Bill. Kill Bill Jesus. came back from the oh, dead. I've just realised another... Th- Never mind Papa Shango making the ultimate warrior bleed from his head. The Undertaker was the first undead thing I was exposed to. And one of my earliest memories and most traumatic memories is crying my fucking eyes out when The Undertaker, who was quite new and dead yeah. and scary... Tombstoned Hulk Hogan onto a fucking steel chair. Yes, Survivor Series, nineteen ninety one. I think so. I'm not going to. It was. I, I have the VHS. Tuesday and text. But either way, it's and my mum had to console me. <laughs> it's one of my earliest memories, and this is one of the reasons I'm so proud of my mum, and I love my mum. Instead of getting you know cross me and saying, oh, you know, it's just fake, silly shit. Because it was my mum who got me into wrestling. She loved British wrestling. She put her arm around me and she said, I used to get upset when my favourites lost, but don't worry. I don't think it'll be long till he gets it back. He'll get his belt back. And I'm like, do you really think? Because, I mean, he made me put his head on the chair. <laughs> like, I've never seen anything bleeding. She's like, oh, he came back. It's Hulk Hogan. He's a good guy. He'll get him back. I'm like, okay. But that was fucking traumatic. <laughs> yeah, me, yeah. Right? And I've never truly forgiven The Undertaker and never found him as cool as other wrestling fans oh. for that reason. No, I'm, I'm telling but you. he was vintage Undertaker then. He was doing character. It scared the shit. He was, he was, very, he was formal yeah. Undertaker in that scenario. Mm. We had Paul Bearer with him. He's undead, man. <laughs> he is actually dead now. Yeah. yeah. Bless him. Yeah, right, right. <laughs> yeah. Paul Bearer. R.I.P. D. Paul Bearer. R.I.P. Yeah. Um, so yeah, maybe that's why I'm not the biggest zombie fan yeah. in the world because I didn't like undead people destroying and decimating my fucking heroes <laughs> and my symbols of justice and my whole identity as a fucking nine-year-old just being taken away from me Rick by this Flair the was dead to, man. Although Ric Flair was to kind of blame for that yeah, scenario. Yeah, what's Ric Flair doing helping out the fucking <coughs> zombie man? Why wasn't he calling the Ghostbusters? It was the 80s. <laughs> the 90s. <laughs> Oh, they were pretty. Off. <laughs> oh, you got, oh, and congratulations to Ric Flair, who's oh, out yeah. of his coma. He's he's okay. He didn't die. They he didn't put, die. Ric put, Flair, the nature boy, still alive. Good on you, Rick. He'll always be going. So yeah, even though you were booted out of TNA for lending money off everyone, you're never paying it back. <laughs> but, but it wasn't that much of a tangent because the Undertaker is a fucking zombie, technically. Strictly he? speaking, he's undead. Yeah. So 
I guess the theory in that is that he can't be hurt, he can't be, so that's why... That's why he keeps going up. Revenge. revenge zombie. Yeah. Lady Stoneheart from Game of Thrones, they, the books, they never put her in the show, but she's a revenge zombie. Because there wouldn't be much drama, would there? Is Night the... King a revenge zombie, then? Yeah, possibly. But see, there wouldn't be much drama in the idea of someone getting killed, coming back from the dead, and not seeking revenge. Instead, just going, I'm so grateful to be alive, I'm going to start hitting the gym, I'm going to drink smoothies, yeah. I'm going to do all the things I enjoy, I'm going to sign up for courses, classes, learn languages, travel. So this leads us full circle to my original point of, <laughs> what, if Jesus had come back and just started whooping ass no, but on the Romans, he comes back, he does a whole, the whole yeah. Scarface thing, he's firing grenades, <laughs> right? He's like, yeah, American. The Romans. <laughs> yeah, because he's got an M16 with a grenade oh, launcher in my mind. He's got and he's like, power. and he's he's America at this point. He's got a Just, stars and stripes tattoo. There's a golden eagle yeah, behind him. He's like, like, cheers, Daddy. Bald, bald eagle. Yeah, bald eagle comes down mm. with a st- America. Fuck yeah, that tune's like Jesus just shooting at the Romans. <laughs> right? This is this is in this is in Joel Osteen's mind. I'm telling you, this, yeah. and, and uh, it's uh, all these American televangelists. I said this works for them. I would turn right? up and kick his right? fucking then that, ass. That 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 Jesus, I could Spitting get behind on the poor. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, could, I could get behind that Jesus. Yeah. If, it, if it's revenge, Who's the most Jesus? corrupt person in this city. <laughs> some guy said for All right then, you're my kind of man. Spits <laughs> on the poor. So what do we do? <laughs> I'm so revenge just, Jesus, I'm behind. Look, I've only just figured out what you guys were on about earlier. Then that if the rapture, the rapture, <laughs> the rapture, and the planet X are on the same day, yeah, we're gonna have to split up, aren't we? Like some of us are gonna have to focus on the planet X problems. Some of us are gonna have to focus on the yeah. planet Jesus problems. Yeah. We've got fucking demons on one side and aliens on the other. Yeah. Do we somehow trick Jesus and use him? Well, we're gonna to have to make it. Use him as a human shield. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's yeah, like, yeah. Man, he's like he's like four foot nine. Remember, yeah. he, oh crouch. <laughs> Jesus, or I need a shield. <laughs> no, um, we could turn his laser vision or something against. <laughs> We're gonna assume he's got laser vision well, now. <laughs> if, if he turns up and all he can do, like I've said in previous issues, issues episodes. Is manifest fish, <laughs> and he's fucked. He's gonna fight all of us who aren't going to heaven. There's gonna be a lot. I would bet significantly more of us are not getting into heaven than are getting into heaven. And all he's armed with is some fish. He's well, fucking dead. No, Wouldn't it be support. ironic though if us three got into heaven? You he don't really believe in it oh, because right. at least God, God gave us free will. And he's like, yeah, you just didn't believe that shit. Yeah, you know, come I'll on in because in the day. In. So yeah, that's the test. You don't have to believe in this. Oh, so and everyone who believed is down there getting their fucking faces all ripped off by bl- demons. Wouldn't that be amazing? All the people who've committed nothing but blind faith to it, they're yeah. actually like, oh, you fucking idiot. You failed. Yeah, you were supposed to go and think about other shit and then come back to it. Like, hey, man, oh. Jesus is going to defeat it with love, man. Love is the only thing that destroys He's not going to destroy oh, demons yeah, approaching no. and playing new age music and holding a baby <laughs> lamb, is he? <laughs> He's not going to destroy your demons on with that. They're going to claw him to shit. Love is nothing against a power bomb from the top turn book. Exactly. Love does not stop power bombs. No. Jesus is No. Oh, right. Drops. Right, what we got next? So what's next Causes. on that bloody list? I see that's what I've got. I, got. Right. I find we're all a little bit wound up by this yeah. thing. What's but anyway, doing? I'm going to throw something else in there. 28 Days Later did not make it onto my not list of zombie films. Me neither. Because I don't zombie, class it as a zombie film. Okay. Why not? Why? Because they're like not dead. They're infected. Oh. Mm. Maybe they're Haitian zombies then. It's a disease, technically a pathogen movie, which is, yes, okay. It's a pathogen a movie. A No. So, so, what's the pitch? It's a pathogen okay. movie. Okay. It's a pathogen movie. Uh, uh, viruses, lots of them, lots of them, everywhere. <laughs> Infected airborne, people airborne. eating brains. <laughs> but... That sh- film does give yeah, you a good. No. <laughs> but that film no, does. <laughs> yes, yeah, that's, so that's a great impression of a 1940s uh, uh, New York. I'm not sure yeah. what voice that is. Yeah. Yeah. So it's, it's I'm like. Trying to pitch a movie. Chicago, <laughs> New York. <laughs> Chicago. I'm not good with my New York with my US accent. Chicago, I go with. Um, yeah. yeah um, but also Chicago Jews in Hollywood. <laughs> I feel it was slightly anti-Semitic. No, cause. you dare! No, you dare! No, <laughs> there was nothing remotely anti-Semitic about the thing. It was anti-zombie, anti-shit movie, anti-airborne disease movies. Oh! Then he's putting words in my mouth. 
He's a dirty NASA shill. Oh, and you no, all don't know that, know. so you do not listen to his. his, his no, we don't, sing, we don't sing like any religion for criticism. We, we do it equally. All. We yeah. despise them. I despise them all. And I criticise them. Apart from Jedi, yeah. they're pretty cool. Yeah, but they haven't got light. When they get lightsabers taught to me, I will do it. Yeah, okay. You know, until then, until they can actually start using the force and using lightsabers, real lightsabers, mm. not like the prop one. I own a prop lightsaber, admit- and yes, I own a Jedi Knight dressing gown. I say- do I put the two together? Yes, I do. <laughs> but I can't move shit with my mind, and that lightsaber is plastic that makes noises. But I know this. Robe, though, man, and it will not, it will not save you in a zombie apocalypse. It will not save you in a zombie apocalypse, which we need to get down to. So, should we get to that article from the Daily Mail? Where I can't believe. So explain to me, guys. You gov. Yeah. Is where they do polls. Is that an actual government? No. Thing. Oh. So it's, it's who, who funds that? Oh, it's independent. But it is. So I was going to say, why are they fucking researching? Because um, shit's important, bloody, man. Yeah, well, <laughs> okay, bookmarks. Let's find this son of a monkey. Well, you say that, but the entire U.S. Um, Pentagon and the CDC did a whole research, didn't they? Well, the reason the CDC did it is because they thought it was a, a more interesting way, a more, also remember, you you got this public um, sort of fascination with zombies. So if you say we're conducting a, a scenario into the spread of avian flu, which may kill you all, then they'll go, oh my God, that's horrifying. You say, oh, we're just doing this fun little trial where we're seeing like, oh, there's a whole zombie apocalypse. You all love that shit, don't you? Yeah, right? So we're going to see how it would spread on that, and that's yeah. why they do it. It's more friendly. Have you ever seen the it's, Devil it... Brown episode with a zombie? Mm. Yeah. Is, I wish I'd watched that now before. Yeah. That was shit, fun. so do I. So do I. I forgot about that. It's just clicked in my Yeah, that was a very good, um, yeah. Okay. So yeah, that was good. Because you didn't want to shoot anyone at first, and mm. there is actually a question in that YouGov poll about um, there was a certain percentage of people. So, yeah, here we go. I've got the facts here. So I'll run through these, if you don't mind, gentlemen. Yeah, yeah. This, so, this is from... Uh, Again, I, it pains me to credit them, but this was a fairly good article. The Daily Mail. .co.uk. Also, can I, I just add, too, fuck the Daily yeah. Mail. Yeah, fuck um, them, but thank you for your content, which we're going to fucking read. Yes, we so. are. Fuck you. Was um, this from the, the neuroscientist from Carnegie Mellon? No, 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 I'm going to hear nope. that one later, because that's a real article. Uh, uh. who explains why we're obsessed with it. This is just, this was from a YouGov poll. So, if there was an attack, apparently, well, not apparently, according to the poll, if there was an attack, just 3% of those 55 and over would be prepared. 9% of Britons clued up for the attack said they wouldn't share their plan. That's true. Well, actually, I'm going to share my plan no. soon. So The most common strategy, yeah. 45% of people, was finding somewhere to hide. 40% of people had plans that involved stocking up on supplies. Just 6% of people said they would work with other survivors. That's shocking, isn't it, really? I mean, okay, yeah, you can't trust people, and there's always bad apples, and if the, the whole the whole sort of I think aspect I'm... of law and order has vanished, there is no one to punish you if you decide to do something that is against a previous law. So I suppose I you do have to worry about that. that. I think people say that, but I think in the reality of the situation, our nature would kick, kick in, and we are sort of pack well, that, animals. That is what The Walking Dead is all about. Um, it is yeah. the fight between staying civilised and going uh, primitive. Right. Hunger Games, Ben, every time. Cladding myself in animal furs. <laughs> going out, kill him. So, um, just over 10% of people have thought about what they would do if the dead developed a taste for living flesh. Were they really surprised by that? Because I hate to break it to the people <laughs> listening, but not fucking everybody is sitting around thinking, oh, what, 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 what happened? Oh, the walking dead going to be real. Like, oh, what percent was that again? Sorry. 10%. It should be even less. 10% of dickheads doing the fucking poll is what it is. Let's be realistic. Do you think my dad, my poor old dad, bless him, he's got kidney dialysis, he's in his 60s, do you think he ever sits there and contemplates that shit? Does he fuck? I doubt he knows what a fucking zombie is. <laughs> he should be th- thinking about it. He's got to think about everything that has his machine working in the event of a zombie apocalypse. No, there is a good fight about it. He, he, all he cares about is he was watching darts last time I said him. He loves it. So, look, temp, yeah, sorry, I went off and that got me annoyed then because it does seem to me, and this will lead up to that article we've got, Mike, is that it does seem to me that pop culture today, people, I'm not wrong, am I? They're fucking obsessed. Zombies is everywhere. It permeates everything, doesn't it, at yeah. the moment? Cinema, video games, television, comic books. Um, I was in a zombie boot camp. It was great. Oh, was it, what, 
Huh? What was that? <laughs> I, went a I went to a zombie boot camp. It was fantastic. Oh, it, it was basically you went you went to this um, sort of in, old industrial complex. Mm -hmm. um, I, 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 it was somewhere in the West Mids. Shit, where was it? I forget. Anyway, sounds kinky, so far. Yeah. <laughs> right. And there's okay. a few warehouses, abandoned warehouses about, and you they give you all this camouflage gear which you get into, mm -hmm. and then you get all this cool body armor like pads and oh. you know riot helmet and everything with the old little visor on it. And, um, well, yeah, and then you went and beat up some anti they, they Basically, <laughs> basically <laughs> they get a load of, uh, they give you this briefing where uh, civilians are kind of, the scenario is that you know, there's been a zombie outbreak in the UK, civilians have been authorised to be trained into like militia groups and we're one of those, mm -hmm. militia, you know, we're going to basic military training and we've got to neutralise this zombie threat near us. And you you have a bit of training, You get some of you have big riot shields and you lock them together and you... Cooks and holding the line and shit and you got batons. Yeah, yeah, foam covered batons. Yeah, they're foam. Well, they're foam. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like okay. larping, I suppose. But do you so you don't start whacking zombie extra type people with your stick and getting a bit carried away? And yeah, there was violence. Yeah. Oh man. It was actually quite violent. Yeah, I'll get to that. Um, this sounds really. And so and some of you have got paintball guns and Captain America shields and smaller batons. And but I always had the right shield. I was a big, I was a big guy. I thought, oh, fucking, I'll be all right with the right shield. Won't I? <laughs> fucking big chap, me. This dude, like, he's got a paintball mask on with a zombie face over the top, and he, he must be wrapped in a duvet because he's he's massive. Yeah. yeah, he would take the paint, but he's taking paintball shots. <laughs> You're oh, firing live yeah. paintball <laughs> yeah. shots. At these I'm crouched down behind a riot shield, what? and we get the order to stand up. How much up. did you pay to get to do? It, it was like um, eighty odd quid for like four <laughs> hours. It was fantastic. Do you know what? No, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I've, I've spent it. Yeah, sorry, continue. <laughs> I'm, I'm massively intrigued. No, I, so who are these extras? Are they they're students. They're students. They're getting paid money. to take yeah. paintball. Uh, they're all dressed oh, up. On. They wouldn't want to be a zombie for four hours, man. No, they're doing the whole, the whole day. The whole day, man. There's like two groups oh, right. a day. I wouldn't want to take fucking right. I want to request that. We get, I want to form that scene. We get, we get, we get, <laughs> officer. Oh, you're going to be a Nazi zombie? Yeah. You're leaning towards the right. You're going to be a massive target of yourself, Mike. You are a sadomasochist. They will... I'm gonna be like Bob with a Luger. Think about it, if everybody else is just Paintball dressed like, Luger. If everyone's just your know, average, <laughs> everyone's your Bob. average zombie, like, and then Mike said that he's full, gone. Right. full yeah. Nazi uniform, like, yeah. you're gonna attract a way more. <laughs> you are. Way more everyone's gonna shoot for the Nazi zombie, <laughs> you do realise that. It's like some dude's gonna think he's clever, be like, oh, I'll be like, <laughs> like I said earlier, zombie versions. Oh, I'll be really clever, man. I'll be the predator zombie, yeah. my amazing predator costume. Today's gonna be a great day. They pay me like twenty five quid. That guy's gonna take twenty five thousand yeah. paintball <laughs> rounds because he stands out so much for the crowd. Yeah, plus he's seven foot six. Lethal, violent psychopaths like my co lovely co-host yeah. who pay eighty quid to fire as much paintball as I they had can. a riot shield for you, Mike. And the fucking predator guy. Fuck. He's seven foot six. He's taking most of the shot. <laughs> I had a I didn't. I didn't even use. I didn't use a paintball gun to the so, end. I had a riot shield. I was. I was a riot shield guy. But what did you? But my point is then. So these people were letting you. You were shoving these people and like. No, because the guy in the really? duvet just went straight through the line like a hot knife through butter because he was so like massive. Oh. No one could stop him. And all these other people who were dressed up as like a bit like us, dressed like us, or in like lab coats. Or so, okay. scrubs even, and they were all bloodied up and had this great makeup on them. It was. A, I, I have another question. Right? They ran after him and just got in amongst us. It was. Like, it was a fight. It was fantastic. Well, that's where this is where I have the next my question. Was there? So this is role playing, right? Yeah. Uh, which I get, LARPing. Uh, la where does the L come in? What's the uh, live action role playing? Right. Okay. 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 Which I'm down for because I used to do theatre. I studied theatre and you know like um, total theatre and doing it in public I, I like a bit of that but I'm confused where you said it It did get a bit violent was there a, some form of referee who decided where the violence became too fucking real yes the, the instructors were sort of sort of yeah. circled Policing. round stuff you and police right. so, you, no, so no. nobody could have got away with literally stamping no, someone no, to death no. right? you would have policed yourself um, I guess. Yeah. you weren't getting carried yeah. away in a no. group violent because you, you, there were certain rules where you weren't allowed to, uh, to sort of uh, give the edge of the shield to anyone oh that's a good one, <laughs> you know, like one. things yeah. like that right. but you um, could shove no, them with the flat but, bit right in the mush yeah yeah I, I did oh, I did what the you beat up strangers with a shield. He was going for me. It was him or me. I had to right. reform the okay. line. Okay. What happens if you get attacked and you get bitten, say? 
Um, the, this, this the first one, no you one kind of dead. got injured as such because it was we had to retreat. Basically, it ended mm-hmm. up as the scenario was. We went back in later on and walked around. Um, but you had to get that in there. Yeah, I did. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So you get bitten like someone, someone touches you. Have to you. Play you have to take. You have to then become a zombie. Yeah, in the newer ones, that's what happened. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I did. I did this in his infancy. The newer ones are very sophisticated. Ooh. They're very good. There was, there was even a thing in Birmingham called. Uh, What's the film? Twenty eight days later, it's twenty eight yeah. minutes later or something like that, mm. and it's you get chased for twenty eight minutes through the streets of Birmingham. If you get tagged, or twenty minutes. That sounds dangerous. <laughs> Fucking people get hit by buses. And no, they, shit. Clo- they, they closed down an area of Birmingham. Ah, uh, um, and makes more sense. and people <laughs> and people just will will chase you for twenty eight minutes. And it's just, obviously, it's not. Uh, and uh, fucked after eight seconds. Right. Yeah. And if you get tagged by a zombie, then you are taken off for like ten minutes and remade up as a zombie, and then you have to chase your mates. Ah. Okay. And you have to do. You have to go to certain Last points across. So it's right, like you have to, if you make it to the zone as a group. You, it's, not as good as, it's not as good as beating them with foam batons. <laughs> no, it's so not. So to people listening, then, so eighty pound. So there's three of us. I don't really do maths. Uh, Two forty. Two forty. Give us 240 quid, we'll apply for one of these. It's more expensive now, actually, I think. Well, give us how much it costs, <laughs> and we'll go and we'll live record, because, um, sorry to mention the new equipment again, <laughs> but this one can, if we take off the adapter, it can plug into one of our phones. Wow. So we got, so we're yeah. going to do a live Oktoberfest report. We're going mobile? Yeah, we're going <laughs> yep, to do a live Oktoberfest report, which, depending on how drunk we get, whether or not it sees the light of day, um, mm. We're gonna record so we monks could, in a graveyard. Because I'm intrigued at now. I know because that's what because I like these role play things. I've never done one, but I like the idea of them, and I appreciate people's commitment yeah. to them. The historical ones, not some they. And then, it always depends which one you go into with them. Yeah, the Lords <laughs> of the Rings one. Oh, that, oh that, I thought we were on the historical yeah. ones. You don't no, want to. You want to steer with the Nazi yeah, side I mean, of things. Real, the uh, military is. historical and also the fantasy ones I'm not so into because yeah you know, I mean when, but, when, you, when you actually l- have to learn a whole new language and, yeah, yeah it's yeah. a bit too much for me but then I like yeah. the idea of us going now then as long as there are police like I said or not because it, it because people can get get carried away in that. Yeah, they can. Uh, I mean, one situation. one guy I was with, he got punched under the, the visor and he bit oh, his lip. He, oh, so he, he was like, he actually it. took a legitimate see, split lip. I I was it. rugby tackled to the ground by some dude oh. just flying at me. <laughs> I wouldn't right? like that. Scene. If see, I saw that happen I, to you. Then but this is great because he... one dude come at me and I just backhanded him with this with this riot shield and he just sort of Jesus. he just stumbled against the wall and dropped. <laughs> but sadly, that left me open then. And this dude oh, just I'd grabbed me around this. the waist, took this. me down into a muddy puddle, and wh- I'm just smacking him with this bat on, and he's like, sm- like sort of slapping at me a bit. Like pro wrestling, and, but with no training. And then event- he gets pulled off by one of the instructors. I'm, I'm sort of fighting with wrestling with him, with rolling over and into yeah. the. In- <laughs> he's like right get pulled out like, <coughs> reform, the wall, reform the wall reform the wall this is man this, this is like the beginnings of Westworld yeah so, yeah essentially it is yeah. do you know what though I've just written in my head an extremely good episode of say Columbo or A Touch of Frost yeah shit in the midst someone of one dies of these, somebody yeah. goes way too far yeah. and fucking murders somebody and then imagine trying to investigate yeah, that exactly. mess I mean, and, and being yeah. new to it one more thing just one more thing oh I love it but, like, but at the end of the first one, you, you literally get chased out of the compound by all these dudes who just seem to come out of fucking nowhere. There's more of them than you actually think. All right? Yeah. And you, you are literally being... You are, the van is driving and you have to jump on it. And like if you don't catch up with it, like you, you'll slow down again. You, you get pulled on. And on. <laughs> but they're coming... Th- there's holes in this fucking van. They've cut parts yeah. out of it. And they are reaching through at you. Do you have a chainsaw? Like, in sadly general? not. Sadly no. not. No. Can we, uh, put- Pausing it just yeah. for a second there, guys. Sorry. So, the last scenario we had to do, right, we basically went in for the kill on this one. Bunch of zombies in the compound. Mm-hmm. We all line up. I got this, uh, I got a paintball gun. I got a Captain America shield. Hey. I got a little bat on. All right, I don't feel safe because I haven't got a massive right shield to hide behind. Okay. And we have to go in through this tunnel, it's all dark, they're throwing flashbangs, which are stun grenades and like little fireworks go off, it's like it's fucking crazy. You got, it's Is like it the strobe lights going eyes? off. Um, it, we don't know if you look at it, but they threw them in first, but you can still see like the residue in there because it's all filled with smoke. And the strobe lights going off. And you've literally got these fucking zombies coming at the wall at you. Wow. 
and you're like you have to just just buy you never fucking hit anything like, that's the point basically is that they're pretty safe in all fairness so they've got the right shield thing on face mask on they just come out the wall at you and I got to the end of it and I had to drop the paintball gun got ammunition left and I, I know there's another guy with me I'm certain there's another dude next to me and I turn around and go is that the end Mm. And it's not, it's a fucking zombie. Ah. It's a dude wearing the mm. same gear as me. And he was just, Rah! at me. And, he's, ah. and I have the shield across me and I shit my pants and just start hitting him with this fucking thing. <laughs> and then it was like the whistle went and that was the end of it. I was like, you fucking made me shit my pants, you bastard. <laughs> uh, it does sound, uh, you've intrigued me, definitely. I think I could uh, definitely be persuaded to go and give give that a go um i'm just scared that it would get a bit i don't know where's the line like i hope the referees are um you do have to start a good bit of disclaimer stuff yeah i was gonna say i, I just yeah i'm just scared that people might get a bit too carried away and might lose like a, my teeth or something there's always a psycho in every yeah, group of people like, like somebody that who's like you know the sort of person in the mush pit who's just there to Use yeah, it. I guess the guy jumping around with his elbows out, yeah. just hoping to catch someone in the face, kind of thing. Uh, he's always six foot eight and built like a brick yeah. shit out. Yeah, and he's a bit of a lunatic, yeah. and he's decided he wants to be a zombie so for the day. The, the, the mic. There you go. Yeah. So it's a bit of a because we're now technical. Yeah. We're not only professional journalists, we're also now professional studio engineers. Kind of. Huzzah! Just, please, I hope this doesn't hurt your ears while I light up this. Kind of a cigarette. We're really professional patient, idiots. Right? <laughs> <laughs> something. So where are we on our, what else have we got? Oh, I, I tell you what, then, before we get into your, because this is the last thing I've got, um, a, um, a sort of proposal, what would you do scenario. Uh, are you aware of the, to be honest, my favourite zombie movie and one of my favourite movies is Shaun of the Dead. Yeah, it's on my okay. list. The way he keeps his best friend alive at the end of the movie Right, you know, in the shed. You have to remind yeah. me, it's been a while. Well, it, it, once everything's over, you're sort of seeing the sort of final... Ah, so the zombies are clear, uh, bin men yeah, now, yeah, yeah. for some reason. His, it's, 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 it's safe to keep zombies yeah, alive as yeah. bin men. His best mate, the fat... The Nick Martin, Frost. Nick Frost is a zombie still, there's no cure, but he's just on a chain in the shed, and they still play PlayStation together. Yeah. Right? And PlayStation happy. 2, and it's... Yeah. Shit, what's the game? Oh, I can't remember. It's some first person shit. It's that there. one you used to play where the, you could have the shooter. massive multiplayer things and it was like you versus. You know, something. It was first to kill so many, you fought mm. all your other characters in the game. There's little snowmen, little penguins, they're all arms of the teeth. Oh. Time attack? Oh, it's a brilliant game. Time, time shifters. Or something that time. Line. Time, yeah, shifters. Yeah, yeah. time shifters. Time shifters. Time shifters. Time shifters. Yeah. Time shifters. Yeah. It was all. Two. They're playing that game. Oh, that game. I so, loved. I loved that game. My point is that. I need to get that game again. <laughs> time, he, time, time splitters. Time splitters. Time splitters too. I, I got that. I got that. The, 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 the two ninety nine. Yeah, and it was a stick error in game. <laughs> and it was meant to be twenty two ninety nine. I got it for two ninety nine. Fire <laughs> power, Mike. <laughs> you ordered system. the deal. You ordered the deal. Uh, <laughs> he said, "Oh, it's my mistake. We'll have more charges." <laughs> uh, you, so, at that point, you came in your previous <laughs> pants. <laughs> so, yeah. brand new game for two ninety nine. He, he keeps his best friend alive in that way. So let's imagine the love of your life, the absolute, not your best friend, the girl, the woman, the love of your life. Yeah. Gets the disease. Like in the movie, there's no cure. You, Pop. you keep no, you keep Pop. her on a chain in the shed like Simon Pegg. Isn't this Simon? This is a bit fucking Fritz or stuff that are going on. It's no, your girlfriend, is... not your best mate. She no. was your girlfriend. She's no. dead. She's a threat. My, my question is, can you still fuck it? No. You can put a mouth guard on her, a bite guard. Do you still gum fuck shield her? on it? Gum I shield. love, I love the answer it? that Matt Brooks in his. Uh, I'd still fuck her, is my answer. And he says, doesn't he, he says, it's not wise to fuck a zombie. He actually, well, not fuck, but he has have sex yeah. with a zombie. Um, he said, we don't know what the uh, effects might be, but it won't be good for you. Condoms. Yeah. Now, that's just true. <laughs> I'll wear two condoms. It's the love of my life. I'm not going to let go. She's a decaying corpse. She's a decaying corpse version of my love Eventually, of my life. she will just be... Zombies degrade I over know, time. Bits of her vagina will literally fall away with every pump of no. my penis, yeah. but I will still yeah. love Which her. Then just... you'll be known across the apocalyptic <laughs> wastelands as the apocalyptic Jimmy Savile. Yeah. <laughs> no, she's not a child, Mike. She's yeah, dead. You fuck dead people as well. Dead children. Yeah. Dead anything. Dead anything. It's my wife. Doesn't matter. She's gone, man. 
I she's love gone. Her. Forget no. her. She's gone. I love her. Forget her. Oh, so she's you gone. Don't judge... I think you've got about thirty minutes. So you don't judge yeah. Simon After Pegg death. for keeping his mate around. And playing he's not having sex with him, though, is he? We'll give you one last. He's had one last fuck with. He got about thirty minutes before she reanimates. Oh, that's easy for you to say when it's about the love of my life. But if it's me telling you, right. Mike, you got 30 seconds with the dead fucking bitch. Make it fucking quick. I'm going to put a bullet right between her fucking eyes and smash her skull in with a fucking spade. And you'll like it. And you'll get over it real quick. No, that's easy for you to say. I'm just saying, don't judge me. If I'll not, keep mine alive. Well, look, as soon as she got If you don't agree, there's a screwdriver in the back of your head. No, <laughs> no. We'll go up. We'll look, have our own camp. As soon as she gets bit... I'm shooting her in the face. Oh, fuck you, man. Right? No, I ain't no, even no, going to... No. I ain't entertaining no that way. shit spreading the red. As soon as she gets bitch, she's dead. That's, that's it, it man. She's, she's a real life. She's Please, a risk. because I'm a fucking realist in this apocalyptic scenario. I'm and a poet. <laughs> I'm a romantic. Then I'm going to shoot you next, you damn it. it. <laughs> oh, you guys are harsh as fuck. And you call me Jimmy Savile, you motherfucker. <laughs> well, because I'm in love with my wife. She's that's not your wife. Like you than me. She's still my wife. She's, a, she's dead. She's just a dead version of my wife. <laughs> But if she was not screaming around and thrashing in, in, in a desire it, to kill you... You just explain why I will have sex with her, the screaming and the thrashing. But don't if she wasn't me. doing that, would you still do it? Would you keep her around? No, you wouldn't. Well, you can have her, but you're ostracised from the community. I will, yeah. <laughs> in but fact, I'm... you know what? You want to, you can do that. We're going to set up like a fucking electric fence around your mouth. She might actually... So she can't get angle. out. Once she's, when she's torn you to shreds, No. she no, can't get out. Because I have... Up. A zombie muzzle, a special sex zombie muzzle. You don't want a gob job from a zombie. You don't. Yeah. <laughs> the bias, I'd love a That's my gum job. I'd love a gum job from a zombie. But listen, so the virus, does the virus somehow keep their flesh from rotting as quickly no. as it would without the virus? No, because in 28 days later, is it? Oh, but they're not technically zombies. Well, yeah, but oh, I'm just saying for the virus. I'm sure they keep. They say that they're, you know... That's blood-driven, actually, girl. They're starving, aren't they? They're starving. <laughs> I think you're fine. Oh, yeah, it drips in It drips guy's in the guy's eye, eye and he goes nuts and gets shot. Ah, okay. <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Spoiler. I'm sorry for questioning. <laughs> I'm sorry for questioning. <laughs> zombie authority. Yeah, they're, they're starving, aren't they, when, they, when the planes go over... Yeah, you can see them in the fields. They're, they're sort of starving and dying. They are, but that's and in the Walking Dead of food. series, we're like in what year eight, year seven. Yeah, and now they're pretty much just skeleton and bits of rotting flesh. That's true. So they do degrade. But, so yeah, yeah it's, not so I'd, what, I'd get eight years with it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you might be able to stretch it to twenty. If you keep it in a fridge at night. There you go. <laughs> it's, it's my wife, my not it. <laughs> keep it in a fridge. At <laughs> In you go, do you? Yeah, there you go. <laughs> and you have to have a massive kudum <laughs> bolt on it. Shoot, 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 shoot. And you have to sit opposite all night with a sh- machine gun just in case. God help the person that has midnight munches. <laughs> oh, yeah, leave it out for the kids. Don't go in there. Mummy is very bitey when she's been locked in the fridge. <laughs> Fuck you, anything to preserve the vagina I love, the woman I love. Oh, she's gone, man, forget no. it. I won't let go, Robocop, like you said earlier, she can be saved. I love her. She's a zombie, she's gonna be a ro- if you put a oh. zombie into a Robocop body, oh. that seems lethal for everybody. No, to quote Dave Lister, you've got no magnificence in your soul. <laughs> Come on, man. Love still exists in the apocalypse, and so does perversion and the death need <laughs> to fuck something. There's enough so perversion for anybody to go. There's no law and order. Been... You can do anything you want. You're just keeping your dead wife and she's zombified one of them. a threat to the entire community. No, no, she's she's not, need to not a threat to the community. She's my wife. I'm my dead. wife, you know, Dave. <laughs> <laughs> my wife, you know, Dave. Oh, God, she's dead. Yeah. She's like, undead. I, I go in for milk. And you get my arm torn off. What's going on, Gaz? I'm asking you to fuck her. You can stay out of my business and out of my affairs and out of my company. Just don't keep her in the community fridge then. She thrashes really wildly. And she still looks a bit like her. All right, She's then. nothing but a rotting corpse. <laughs> Let's chew back into sanity at <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe you that would force me to fucking execute my own dead wife rather than just make sweet love. 
<laughs> wouldn't affect you guys. <laughs> no, I swear to the community. I'd like I said, you can stay in the shed outside the <laughs> exactly. I'm happy with that if I'm getting laid in the apocalypse. Yeah. No. Oh, Are you on your own? Yeah, you're on your own with that one. <laughs> Well, I'll take a sly wank in the in the communal <laughs> shower, but I ain't I ain't taking even no dead zombie woes. Communal shower, that's worse than the dead people. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, it'll all become natural well, eventually. All right then. Okay, I guess we've established that I'm either a pervert or a soft romantic fool. Um, Pretty much the same thing. And then would execute the love of my life <laughs> if she was infected. Yeah, so but please vote on that poll at uh, cutting through the ball at yahoo.com. <laughs> <laughs> Email is he a pervert or a, yeah. a, a romantic? romantic. <laughs> yes. It is possible to be. Pervert. Cutting through the ball, all lowercase, at yahoo.com. Sorry, guys. Let's yeah. move on. Next <laughs> So. But, <laughs> right, the, it's only one in four. 18 to 24 year olds have a plan. The older generation are, are quite laid back about this kind of danger. They don't care about zombies. Yeah, they, can... they know it was just a shit movie from, well, not a shit movie, but a movie from the 60s today. Maybe, maybe the, the zombie apocalypse could make, you know, clear out the um, the Tory majority. <laughs> <laughs> you'd argue old. that, yeah, you'd argue the zombies are... Yeah, they're going to have the older people first. When we when us younger people get rid of them, we'll be fine. I mean, the zombies, not the tourists. Well, you'd argue we've got a zombie government now, wouldn't you? Oh! Ooh. Well, so come on, watch, once watch, the watch. old people are dead, we might have a chance of marijuana legalisation in this country. That's also a good we're point. We're being fucking absolutely shamed by America because in this country, that class and age of people are just never going to fucking ever go through. It's not just America, man. You've got Uruguay now, well, you've got Portugal, Holland. The list goes on. We, <laughs> you yeah. run out of countries, yeah. didn't you? <laughs> does the list go on like? Does it soon run out? <laughs> so I'm sure it does. I don't know. <laughs> Allegedly. Sorry, uh, no. Yeah, but see, we're left behind. So, uh, so wait, 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 wait. everyone got a weapon of choice for the zombie apocalypse? Yep. Mine's a katana. You'll never use it properly, man. You're just end up You're, slicing you your own saying, leg off. Yeah, bollocks. I'll trade myself the stick first. No, it doesn't work. Yeah. I, I know a, a, a martial arts time guy. I'll zombies. You've got, you haven't got time to train. It's just a weapon of choice. You, you, you've taken that. You've got that one of them in your flat, and it's happened. Yeah, but and you're it's like elegant, man. It's elegantly cut through bone like butter. If you keep it sharp. Yeah, that's not hard. My but it is actually. You, know, you just need a grinding stone. Oh, well, everyone's got one lying around, don't they? <laughs> Find one at the old grinding shop. Grinding stone <laughs> shop. Oh, great. The oldie grinding. Yeah, stone the oldie shop. grinding stone shop. Fantastic. Door yeah. hasn't changed maybe in <laughs> two hundred years. <laughs> My weapon of choice is love. Oh. I'm gonna make love to the zombies. <laughs> All of them. Oh God, you're dead within thirty <laughs> seconds. Yeah. But what a way to go. Come on, then, Benjamin. Crowbar. <laughs> Crowbar. Crowbar, the humble crowbar. Simple, simple. The okay. zombie survival guide, the crowbar is king, because we don't have all... In the zombie survival guide by Max Brooks, whose book I reread again for numerous times, it's always on my bookshelf, and it's always the only ever book... The only book that's ever pulled out so I can grab it in an emergency. <laughs> just in case. It is the Holy Bible. Bible. It is effectively the Holy Bible <laughs> it's of survival. Like the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> it, I mean, in America, you can actually... <coughs> well, I suppose in this country, you can buy zombie survival kits. You can. You can. They yes, like I have. Fire axe. And yeah, I've got like sleeping bags oh, and for fuck's sake. Yeah, first aid kit. We should be uh, more torches. worried, I think, about the Planets X. Planets. Planets. That's a new name for it. Planets. Planets. Yeah. Probably Planets sounds like a delivery company. <laughs> or like some sort of. Sanitary You're thinking of Planet <laughs> Express. <laughs> ah, Planet Express. I like hey, Futurama. Ding, it's good. Ding, ding. Oh, there's an audio episode, the new episode, but it's audio only. Oh, well, that's going to suck. Five minute uh, audio drama. Yeah, uh, I, I find the visualizations more fun in future. I haven't listened to it yet, but I will. Uh, I'll report back. So, what were we talking about? I apologize. I said the crowbar. The crowbar oh, yes. is king. The crowbar. Um, it is. It, I understand where you're coming from. It's a blunt weapon. It can crush skulls pretty easily, and it yeah. can open doors. But if and you can yeah, live in you can, and you can use it as but ben, a thing to close yeah, a, a door ben. with. As a, as a, yeah, but it's not as graceful as a katana. No, though. it doesn't matter. Never mind grace. Listen, if you've been surviving on a diet of fucking eradicated, uh, irradiated rabbit shit and fucking coal dust, yeah, you know you haven't had any fucking what? nutrients for no, months on end. With what? Velocity and speed. Are you going to be swinging a crowbar? Aren't you just going to be like? And I'm sorry, better than like swinging Mr. a Bane, a, Mr. Burns. <laughs> hey, katana's light as a feather, mate. They're not light as a feather. They've got weight to them. Uh, 
And, you, you've and got to know how to use a katana. You're I'll slicing practice. your own leg off. I'll practice. Yeah, and you're Solar in the powered. process, you'll slice oh, yeah. your own leg Hang off. On. Solar powered chainsaw. Noise. Can a sol does a solar powered chainsaw exist anyway? I could create one. You go on, then knock one up now. Yeah, you walk to the dark. Like, yeah, we're we'll doing it at night. <laughs> you power it up through the day, Mike. Because the nuclear fucking sun will probably never go down. There'll be three suns. Well, we've got about we've got about six billion years left of the sun. Yeah. There you go. That's a, that's a lot of power. Um, we've got two in, no, in fossil a real, fuels. In a realistic way, a crowbar is the king. I mean, he's, I haven't got to learn how to use a katana. I can just swing a crowbar. And I think even though you, you made flame it, flamethrower is the worst. Yeah. Because not only oh, you have so zombies, zombie. you have yeah. flaming zombies. Because they don't care. Yeah. They're, they're just coming towards you. Brains. 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 Yeah. So suddenly you've got two threats coming at you. Yeah. The, the flaming one. zombies is our side project. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Uh, band. Um, yeah, I guess I don't know. What my weapon of choice would be uh, the ability to hide. Really uh, like forty well. percent of. Um, yeah. Of everyone uh, who questioned, actually, that has that, anyone put any research into what is the best thing to rub on yourself to dist to cover your own scent? Um, probably zombie entrails. That boom, like fucking. There's Arnie, a marketing scheme. Yeah. Arnie at the end of Predator, where he is head to toe in mud, just yep. to just see his eyes. I will fucking plaster <laughs> myself with entrails <laughs> of zombies. Right, I will. I will. Const I will sew together a. A zombie suit like the guy out of um, the bad guy in Silence of the Lambs. Silence of the Lambs. Yeah, Buffalo Put Bill. The in the basket. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Trouble is, if you get any of that in your mouth or your eyes, you're fucked. If it's violent. Oh, open wounds. Oh, fuck off, science. Um, <laughs> oh, science boy's uh, back. <laughs> I'll put a condom over my head and just nose holes. <laughs> Ooh, technical. Will that work, science boy? Yeah, we're we from a known as condom man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure the fucking zombie <laughs> suit constructed of dead zombies will be more apparent to you than the fact I've got a condom over my head underneath it. <laughs> yeah, but but, oh, there's zombie gas. Like, that was his plan. Our plan was all to use crowbars and shotguns and stuff like that. Hey, and there's he's out there being Buffalo Bill. <laughs> he walks among them, not bothered. I'm rocking, I'm rocking full denim in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can't go double, double denim. denim even you, can't, you can't. You can't. Even the apocalypse, you can't. You might get no. made. Hey, no. Man, it's bike. No, <laughs> no dual denim. I don't care. It's not happening. Is it bike proof? Try eating your pair of jeans and find out. <laughs> All right. Well, that's a future Look, episode. But you, you two can't talk amongst yourselves, and I'll see how long it takes me to get you, through a pair of jeans. You cannot go double denim. Yeah, I wish I, I wish it was acceptable because you got to admit. I don't care if the apocalypse, you can't do it. Well, because they will You can only do me. double denim unless you're in a white stake video. You know then you're a million there after the apocalypse. We'll, we'll be walking through the apocalypse, us three in our double denim, triple double denim. Triple Mas double denim. I, I'd have masking right. tape around my yeah. forearms and, and chins cool fuck, too. And we'd be loving Shin guards, it. elbow pads. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we yeah. would be feeling awesome. Sunglasses. Until hockey mask, goalkeeper hockey mask. Sunglasses. post-apocalyptic 14-year-old girl shouted out, you never go double denim, you fucking losers! <laughs> and she gets all a throat sudden, torn out. Our self-illusion, our self-image would be shattered instantly yeah. because of the fucking post-apocalyptic <laughs> equivalent of a Facebook comment. You know, if, and it just goes to show you, if you feel good in it, then we should be allowed to... I'll just decapitate him with my katana. <laughs> well, I'll just put a crossbow bolt through a skull. That would just that would work too. Well, who am I kidding? I'd be at home fucking my zombie. <laughs> <laughs> So us three in a zombie apocalypse are in double denim. <laughs> and I demand to wear my white snake t shirt then. <laughs> it's got a naked chick right in the snake. We're playing white snake as we go through the apocalypse. Here I go oh, again yeah. on my own. Oh, oh, slow, yeah. That's a montage where I was like killing zombies. <laughs> Mike's doing all flashy with his katana. I'm just bludgeoning shit to death There's with a scrober. Gaz is. Oh, we see with that <laughs> fucking bitch. Stop <laughs> fucking the zombie, Gaz. We oh. need. I'd be writing a poem on a hill. <laughs> oh, the, the Elijah reflecting the off the guitar. The rotting <laughs> flesh bounces off the radiation dust hanging in the atmosphere of my lust. Sorry, that was my, <laughs> my opening line. Well, I was, I was waiting until that was going to be I'm fair. Me, I was quite I'm, I'm finished, I'm done. It's the, it's the heat.
<laughs> and maybe the fact that I've been putting my dick in a dead woman for weeks on end. <laughs> <laughs> so we've done the record of choice. Normal. <laughs> and, uh, sorry, Mike's trying to steer me away from the <laughs> I'm sorry, Mike. Let, yeah. where, where are we? Sorry. Yeah. Let's go. Some of sense. Weapon of choice. We've finished. Oh, Crowbar. Are we done with weapon What was your choice? ultimate weapon of choice apart from love? Did you have one or just... Hiding, I guess. Hiding? You're just going to hide, I'm okay. hide it out. Okay, yeah. you're you're the Winchester, yep. <laughs> and uh, uh, have a nice pint and wait till it all blows over. Possibly, yes, well, yeah. not Should a nice I... pint, getting obliterated. Drunk. <laughs> this is the only time that I uh, curse the fact we have no guns in this country. Yes, farmers have guns. Mm, yeah, they do. Farmers' wives. <laughs> 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 Yeah, no, many, you'd be picking guns up so, off the street. Yeah. But then guns, we'd have to be very... You'd be like soldiers, street, soldiers right? policemen, you, there might be a but we've got to be fresh corpse careful. lying we've around. Got to be such good yeah. shots. And Limited bullets. This is exactly. kind of where I feel myself coming into my own here, being well, the, most, the MVP of this team. team. Well, you are XTA. <laughs> exactly. XTA Sergeant. I was fucking I was ace at X- Virtual Cop 2 on the Sega Saturn. I had the light gun. Hey. This is a this is a proper soldier. What were you? What rank were you? I was I was a sergeant. Quartermaster sergeant, were you? I was, I was a, a squadron quartermaster sergeant. Yeah. Uh, by the end. There we go. Virtual cop two. <laughs> oh, we I had them. They, uh, we had those that, that sort of training shit. It was awesome. You can go hide and write your poetry. I'm with him. He's XTA. <laughs> I'll listen to you. <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, MVP hiding. of the uh, team. Hiding MVP. Right. Yeah, guys, yeah, he's gonna shoot you. Yeah, he's gonna get you. <laughs> and I want to shoot yeah. you. I shoot your zombie wife. Yeah, no, you're not going to shoot my zombie wife. You have to shoot through my head. No, look. Well, if you put your head next to hers, are you going to get bit anyways? It doesn't matter. I'm just, I'm you're going to waste one of your very precious bullets on me and my wife when there's a whole horde of them out there. My wife is safely chained, responsibly <laughs> chained down. Responsibly, responsibly chained. Responsibly and safely chained <laughs> down. Double, tick triple sheets. nails. <laughs> hey, hey, health tick. and safety, just as the apocalypse, doesn't mean that health and safety goes out the window. We're British, <laughs> goddammit. And I'll fuck my fucking British zombie wife in a very British way, which will be safe and considerate for the likes of you. So stop threatening me with your mark. Shit. Hey, look, we're fuck tra- off and find some tin beans, will you? We're trained in the art of warfare. Exactly. Uh, oh, anti-love yeah. making is what you are. We're coming at this. I wouldn't spend today. I wouldn't spend it. Spend a day at the cadets, and I fired a weapon for about thirty minutes. And I, I was a cadet as well, back in the day. Yeah. That was a fucking space. So, I, so uh, basically, my... I'm the MVP. Of this because any guns we do find, I'm the only one that knows how to actually use them, <laughs> clean them, operate them, I did shoot that as well. them. I cleaned them and. Put Can you remember them. how to do it what? now? No, I was no, no. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what are you bringing to this party? Oh, I'm just saying I've got more experience with a gun than them guns. How do you know? I haven't mentioned my gun experience. <laughs> Virtual Cup Two was just <laughs> House of the Dead. Time Crisis, which was at the Telford Cinema, remember? Oh, I love Time Crisis. Big gun. Yeah. I played a lot of that. That was a good shot. Yeah, fun, fun, plug, plug. We're not going to yeah. find any fucking guns. We might do. Like, who can hit someone with a piece of wood the hardest? Well, that's the problem, Things isn't it? That... Without guns, it's going to be... We're going to, like, your lamp from the corner. We're literally, if it happens now, what have we got? Where are the guns? It's going to be melee, isn't it? It's we'll going to be, be yeah. Can you, like, show of the dead? Can we use CDs and record? Can we... You know... Because that's all we've got. You know, if you got a hundred zombies to kill the crowbar, how long before your arm gets tired? Well, so you could you kill kill three. Three. Even what? Imagine in your head, it's right. This is uh, in, I'm your a, head, in no. my head ten. No, in your head. This well, I'm dragged down goes. ten. No, I'm so I'm break taking. Down here, ben. Listen, in your head, it's one swing, zombie down. Another swing, zombie yeah. down. What if one zombie? It's like this. They're a rotting corpse. And he gets back up. <sighs> then I use the pointy <laughs> bit, don't I? <sighs> I better shave than that nowadays. And then he starts moving again, and the whole and there's 25 minutes of this until no. you complete. <laughs> um, I think a crowbar on a skull, it wouldn't take long. A rotting no, no. skull, remember? You're being very it's a rotting skull. You, it's still we'll, we'll have to test it in the, the field. The bone's not made of flesh. Doesn't matter. It's, 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 I'm using the Airbnb, don't I? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, man. I think it potentially could be... Oh, right, so you so seen, you seen takes... fucking Samurai Mikey is any better, are you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. So five <laughs> swings... I cut you both your heads off by mistake. Five swings. <laughs> 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 Mike cuts off. He's like, oh, fuck. 
<laughs> His legs gone. Exactly. <laughs> this is my point. No, so he takes, say, five, six swings per zombie. And there's it ain't 30 gonna of them coming up the stairs. I could crush a living person's skull with the heavy end of a crowbar. <laughs> But the end, yeah, that's my point. I can probably yeah, three hits at least. <laughs> that a zombie one, you don't do the skull. It's gone. No, it's it's gonna be person. hard. Yeah, with, uh, fucking yeah. Work is how many, how many, cro- how many baseball bat shots was it for Glenn? Three. Uh, two. Two. There you Time's go. Turns out by five hundred zombies. Oh, come on, you must back me up on this one, Mike. I know you chose. Yeah, but I'm not going to get into a scenario where there's five hundred zombies I coming at me. Yeah, I'm going to be fucking tired. But it's not going to take him twenty-five minutes to kill one. Okay. And also, if there's five hundred, if there's five hundred zombies to kill one, times that by ten. Three of them. minutes. That's 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 You're about thirty seconds. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> All I'm doing is blading that thing around. Three minutes running. fighting zombies in a turn. Remember, I am I am running away as well. Remember, this is I'm, I don't want to be a scenario. Where I'm fighting yeah. five hundred zombies and just me and my trusty crowbar, yeah. Blunty Stabby, which I've named Blunty Stabby. <laughs> <laughs> You can draw a face on him. Yeah. And then he gets knocked out your yeah. hand and falls off a balcony. No! He'll <laughs> have a little bow tie. <laughs> That's what I'll have. <laughs> oh, Mr. Bloody Stabby. No, Mr. Bloody, Bloody Stabby. Stabby. He'll be good one-on-one. Exactly. I agree. That's one-on-one. the only scenario I intend to do. The, the scenario on your T-shirt... Is Mr. Blunty Stabby going to help you there? No, because that's why the guy in my t-shirt... t-shirt right, okay. Name. My t-shirt is Lahore, and uh, the guy in the car, and he's got a, a rifle and a shotgun, and he is pretty much surrounded. He's on the roof of a car. I'd say thousands of there's, zombies. There's quite a few thousands of zombies around him. Sorry. And at that point, I think he knows he's fucked. So there's but you, I'd ben, rather go out like that. There's Ben, Mike, Mr. Blunty Stabby, and whatever you've named your sword. I am. I haven't given it a name. Oh! And then there's my approach. I'm wearing a zombie suit. And then that whole thing there becomes a completely different thing because I just walk among them then they're like, oh, where'd he go? And well better to go yeah. down better go down fighting than just slink away as a, a yeah. zombie oh, wear oh, zombie oh, skin oh, wearing. An old cat snow- saying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you're saying uh, it's better to live one hour as a tiger than a whole lifetime as a worm. And what I'm gonna say to you is, is. the words of Mr. Rimmer. Who ever heard of a worm skin rug? <laughs> you well, got a tiger. Hey, I'm, I'm with you guys. In, if need be, that would be a course of action. Yeah, because the first zombie brains I'm smashing out, I'm smearing over my face. I've got a second. <laughs> you, you've still got, you've still got to protect yourself, man. You've still got to have something. Yeah, okay. you can't just slink away you all the time. Yeah, you can't just be stood there with your dick in your hand in the apocalypse. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking. <laughs> you just watch. Or your me. dead wife's um, dick in your hand. <laughs> Why is this? I've got a dick now. Uh, is that part of the? No, I said something like that. She didn't have one before she died. <laughs> <laughs> Pieces of her vagina still stick to my face. So sorry. What's that? Oh, it's a lady. Yes, one of you just starts yeah. shooting it. I know! I could have stuck that back on. <laughs> so, so you, you, you found the clip, but it's on the floor. <laughs> Finally! I finally found it! And then shooting it! Oh, okay, that was a good joke. Good community. Carry on. Uh, sorry, sorry, Mike. Right. Oh, so we're in the apocalypse now at this point. Yeah. Um, I'm, I'm quite confident because if we do find a gun, I can shoot it. Okay, what's the. what? You know, are we going to try and find safe refuge? Safe haven? We stay, got to, haven't we? Well, 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 my plan has always been to get to a castle. As daft as that sounds, the Shoesby Castle. I could probably do Shoesby in a day's day's walk. It's 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 that far from us listeners. You don't know the in UK Telford. from Telford. It's it, look it's up on Google Maps. Twenty five minutes in the car. Twenty five minutes in the car. I could do that in what six seven hours easy. Good good stroll. Good. I, I walk a lot. I'm all right. I, I'm fairly fit. And what happens when you get there and people have already got it? Well, I'll tell them what a fantastic guy I am and that well, they're just going to see you as another mouth to feed. Yeah, but I've got skills to bring. I can shoot for a start. They... Can you write poems? No, <laughs> but they're not, they're not looking for that. They're looking for a bard. They want people who can do shit. You're a bard in this scenario. You're as... In this scenario, you're Shakespeare, you're but no one's got need for Shakespeare. <laughs> you're a wandering minstrel. Yeah, I'm a wandering minstrel telling songs of the zombie apocalypse. So far this episode, you've called me Jimmy Savile. <laughs> <laughs> minstrel, you can take your fucking bee and your 
<laughs> fucking hang yourself. Oh, Which you I probably would in the in zombie apocalypse. Yeah. 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 Would with a bee, there's two yeah. loops. Think about it. That's yeah. the, what I would do, to be honest. I'd, I, you know, I'd cash out. I'm telling you, I don't want to survive. Yeah, I don't want that, to man. survive it. Yeah, exactly. I don't what want to be one of those the people on your, on your t-shirt. The horror escape that you've got to live yeah. in, man. It's, it's going to be hell. I don't, yeah, but you, it's, sure, it's, it's your sense of self-preservation. I mean, like you said you could shoot my wife, but how easy is it for you to shoot your wife? Well, she's been bit, and I'm going to do it, haven't I? Well, it's a good look at for the good of the species at this I'd point. Do as long as I could, and it's then my survival and the good of the species. I'm gonna be one of the weak ones I'll who as dies long as I could in the initial. And end it. Yeah, chances are I'd end up starving to death in some honest, some cabin we in the woods. I'm gonna die in the initial oh, fuck yeah. incident. The initial thing that wipes out whatever's gonna happen if it's Nibiru, the rapture, whatever it no, is, no. earthquake, whatever. We're wiped I think, out in that. I think I might survive the first month. Oh, it's very optimistic. Possibly. I think we're all gone. Possibly, but then I think after that. But what, what if you do actually? All right, we're in a we're recording this, and we're on a, we're in a third floor we flat. Stay yeah? here. Right, this this is a bad spot. I mean, we barricade the doors yeah. downstairs. Maybe we'd have to we, have foraging. We, we we kill any zombie. We have to kill anyone in the building that's it's infected. Yeah, that's a start. You got to do that. What if she's fit? Look, yeah. we've got to look at our own survival. Yeah, okay. yeah. I you know, if she's fit, board. she's out the you know. You know, it's, it's gonna happen. Right. I'm sorry. Then we've got to secure the place. Got to secure the wedge. You know, f- plenty of furniture about. We have got security doors on the flat. They only open outwards. Wedge the doors. Now we can planks. We can. We can. We can Jay's fortify fluid. this. Jay's fluid on the floor. Everywhere we Jay's fluid. The outside. Right. The windows. Yeah. Fills. Yeah. Ev- cover ourselves literally in, in Jay's, Jay's fluid. fluid. Head to toe. Head to toe. That's how we are. Well, smoothie. they kill the avian flu. So we must kill the zombie. Yeah. Flu. That's I science. Mean, that's if it's a virus or not act of God I or mean, food you or whatever. All right, but we've got plenty of like we've got plenty of food within like what there's like six flats in this block. Keep it going for about a month. Yeah, I don't know six. But what flats, if nobody else food? in the block gets affected and we can't? We're just going to overpower them and beat other humans. Well, there is a shop down the road. We could try and loot that. Yeah, but that'll get looted very quickly. Right? Yeah, and that will be a hot spot. Mm. Yeah. The supermarket like two minutes down the road but that'll be yeah why did they go to the supermarket first the big, and leave the shop even if we make it to one of the giant supermarkets in Telford imagine the scene that we'll arrive to it will be utter utter violent I, I, I looked I, I've Nightmare. been checking this week I've been looking you can get in this, the mall though as in mm. Dawn of the Dead but yeah, might be the only thing that's left. we might come away with cotton buds and fucking. We're gonna be living on fucking charcoal. We're gonna be living... hole up in there. That's your. Oh, that's nah, because be... everyone who's alive will be trying to get there. Well, yeah, because yeah, they've all seen Dawn of the Dead. That's, that's why they've all seen Dawn of the Dead. Everyone's going to tell the supermarket. You know why it was said seven. in the why he said it in the supermarket though? That was some sort of comment on commercial. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah, the whole film is man. It's fucking deep. But we'll get onto that later when we get through to the film. Yeah. So I mean, all right. So basically. I want to go to a castle. I think a castle is the best place Isn't to that go. It's quite hard to secure, though. Well, no, it's got big gates. Mm. They've got wood, big wooden gates. And and big, big holes in blo- them and walls. No, because I mean, some castles missing. are pretty well preserved. Pre- pre- I mean, Shoesby yeah. Castle, which I want to go. It's also a museum. Why not? If you go to Shoesby, why not full- go in the prison? It's the prison's like, also... But, no, but, like, Shrewsbury... Zombie apocalypse, zombie apocalypse. No, hang on. Let me Shoesby Castle. You've got to slog it to Shrewsbury, which is 25 miles. Yeah. Yeah. You've got to slog it all the way there through the zombie apocalypse. You've got to get there on skate, then you've got to get there, hope that no one else has got there. Hang on, I've got a full tank of then fuel you've in got the to... <laughs> So that We well, don't want to know, we've got to walk it. No, we're not, we can't drive, the roads are going to be yeah, blocked in. Block, this man. is I mean, the panic going on this you've got road. To walk the, the, the panic. We've got to walk over the field. We've got to go over the field. We'll construct a team style. We will construct some sort of ATV tracks onto the van. Turn it into an all terrain ah. vehicle, right? We'll barricade the front a little bit with like a scoop ramp. And some, some corrugated yeah. steel. Yeah, we'll put corrugated steel over Where the windows. Where are you going to do this, though? Outside, where the zombies. You two, <laughs> you two fucking expert marksmen will be picking them up. He's not an expert want... marksman. No, I'm a 30 minutes training and there's no guns about. <laughs> well, what, 10 minutes ago, you were big, big, big bollocks because of your 10 minutes training. Yeah, right? I know, yeah, yeah, I was picking myself up. Well, I'm <laughs> really, I'm fucking shit. <laughs> I was 12 years old and I hated the whole experience. <laughs> <laughs> well, somehow we get. All right, let's presume downstairs flat, they, they're they gone. Oops, sorry. Yeah. They're dead. So we, so we barricade the, barricade the, the door. In there, turn it into a garage, knock the front door, front wall in, get the van in. We're going to try to rebuild bricks. Hey, no, we don't have to rebuild bricks. We just put a sheet or steel thing something you do, to keep Fill up a bath full of water and as yeah. many buckets and anything you can carry yeah. liquid. 
Yeah, the war yeah. is going to go off in about three days. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Although, or forget all that A team stuff though. I know you're saying the roads will be blocked, but if we get on it fast, no, they'll yeah. be completely. Okay, say no. Yeah. Say no. I can imagine. Like, look at Hurricane Irma now, real world. Everyone trying to get out of the city at once, and they're big cities. Look how clogged that is. Yeah. Telford would all be right. no different. After this podcast, A5. we turn our phones back on. Zombie outbreak. Yeah. yeah. It's happening in Birmingham. It's happening all across the we UK. Just, okay. We just get in yeah. that van now, or do we stay here? That's it. That's a question. Oh, get I'd Tesco do. and then get back here. Not I'd, I'd get in the shop. Yeah. I've got the shop first. Yeah. As no one man. else knew what was happening. We've got to arm ourselves, take whatever we can from the kitchen, knives, etc. Yeah. yeah. We've got to oh, rob love. the shop. Water, as food. Water, food, my love. Water, food, medicine. Water, food, medicine. Um, the pharmacy down the road, we'll get that. Yeah, oh. we'll go to Chippy no, too. No, we go to a big supermarket like Asda because the pharmacy's in there. Everything. Yeah, well, there's too many people going to Asda. So there's the yeah, smaller shop. You're going to get huge. trampled. This, yeah, no, but every local person around here who hasn't got vehicular transport will hit. Nah, they're, they go. They go to Asda first to go for the big score. We got to think. But on foot. But we're yeah, on wheels. Two local it's, shops, boy. Also, yeah, pharmacy. Yeah, there's two yeah, local shops. I think they'll be raided very quick. And a chip in hairdressers. Chip is no so use. So at least we can look fabulous while we gorge <laughs> ourselves on fried food. Well, I think we go for the. Break. I think the smaller shops are, are less obvious. I think that yeah. uh, that one, there's one just up the road. It's not like the main yeah. shop. I mean, I you've got Asda too. Many, like, everyone will go to Asda you only get first. What you can carry anyway. So you can only no, get. No, get no, I get so your we, thinking. We use do the, a van. Use a van no. for that. Ram raid the small listen, shop. No, but I get your thinking. Smash <laughs> listen. Yeah. So everybody those else. shit as we can in beer. I'm not going without beer. No, listen, everybody else who's close to those shops, beer and fags, yeah, doesn't have vehicular transport. Here's the news: is going to leg it on foot to the nearest physical place, which will be those small shops. I know. And because they have a lot less stock in them, they'll empty very quick. All right, quick. we'll split so up. We go direct. Yeah, we'll split up. There's so two shops and there's an Asda. You get the Asda in the van. Big one in the van. Me and Ben will split up. I'll get whatever I can. A trolley full. Although it would be nice if someone came with me to watch my back and fire off the people. You know, because yeah, it's, it's going to get so violent in Asda. Mate, we we got no guns. We've got no guns, man. We've got oh, what we've got here. I've got, I've got a saw, a hammer, oh, and possibly a file. You know what would be way more useful than them? And some no, knives. I've got oh, kitchen knives. Kitchen knives. I hate to make us all feel bad about ourselves, but you know what would be way more useful than any of those things? Muscles. Physical conditioning, yeah, um, the ability, yeah. like combat skills. Hey mate, yeah, um, well, I can take out a few with a hammer. Before I get oh yeah, it. definitely. But I mean, it'd yeah. be really good if I was really big, strong, muscular, fit, oh, fuck and yeah. I'd been boxing training, jujitsu training my entire life. Well, that's life. why we're thinking it through because we're yeah. trying to avoid these situations. Yeah, okay. But we haven't got to fight Jet Li style for five minutes, clearing everyone. Got to fight our own. To fight. You know how we've we... just got to fight our own ignorance. Yeah, and, no, and other you... people no. who are probably fatter and out more out of shape than we are. No, but there's there's more Mothers, you know how psychotic mothers can get when in defence of a child. You got a and hammer. You're getting to, okay. like you said, you're going to get into a Jet Li style, ten minute long end of film, like flippy, punchy kick fight in a frozen fucking food aisle in an Asda. No, the frozen the food aisle is no good. And she will right. suddenly learn how to block everything you throw and be all right. breaking say, your arms. <laughs> let's just say, let's violent. just say that we're, we're all successful to some and degree get back on here, our yeah. mission. Yeah. Do you take stragglers, survivors that Fuck. are pleading for you to help? Unless they're attractive women, no. Attractive women get the first And I'm sorry to keep going back to this. It's hmm? not a, yeah, attractive women I'm get, just, the, get the... Um... I'm being honest. I'm sorry, mate. I'm being yeah. honest. And I don't think you'd really mind that much if she wasn't too annoying. Yeah, but think about it. it it's one extra mouth to feed. I'm not, I'm not being sexist. I mean, a lot of women are, You're about are a lot, more, though, a lot stronger than me, for God's sake. But generally, women are... And less physical than men. Well, I'm not, I'm not taking so a more. I'm not, I'm, I'm not no, taking a more alpha that, male yeah. than me. Yeah, let's put that way. Is it someone else you've yeah. got to protect other than yourself? No, well, I mean, it depends what they can bring to the group. I mean, I if she goes to the gym, then I might, I might take her in. There's children and, and, and old, old oh, women. No, the, the old people have got no. no I'm no, out of there. Women and kids, no. But if there's a young, single, attractive girl. Who's got nowhere to go and needs help? And looks like she works out a little bit, so she's not much too much. Yeah, might be a little bit useful. And then. I'm just saying that I'm probably going to bring her back. Or ask oh, her to come back. She look. might say, fuck it, I'll, I'll deal with well, it. Yeah. You. Maybe she'll go and just it. end the whole damn yeah. thing yeah. there. She might just look at us and go, I'll, I'll, fucking, I'll take the chances with a zombie. Okay, let's say we've been rebuked by women that um, even sheltering from the apocalypse don't, don't want us. So oh, we're alone, back in, the, back in the flat. What's the next course of action? I'm going to go and try and find a woman. We've got water. <laughs> That's not really I assume we try to pick up weapons on the way. Yeah. Whatever we can. 
beat sticks, knives. Let's whatever. say that we've got um, um, some kind of police weapon. And it's got half a mag left or something How like that. So got like fifteen rounds. Wait, there's three of us. Yeah. You two. Ah, the police station's only ten minutes. It is, but everyone's gonna go there anyway. Police station, because I've just thought of something. Never mind the big supermarkets. So we need to barricade these windows and the doors. Why don't I try and hit? Because I've got the van and fuel still. A builder's yard, and just load the back of the van up. Good idea. With, yeah. Uh, materials, anything that's left. Concrete, Lots of weapons anything, on it on a building site. Anything yeah. I can grab hold of. Sledgehammers. Dun, dun. Dun, dun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I yeah. So yeah. you know. Um, yeah, and then I guess we just bunker down and we wait for a signal yeah. from the government. You can make yeah. your own weapons, man. Like making a morning star. But then, look, <laughs> if we're really... I guess he was legendary no. blacksmiths in the town that we. Hey, I know blacksmith. It. Look, yeah, but he's not here. Do you know what is more likely? What is way more likely? Think about it. If we barricade downstairs well enough, we cover the windows, we get enough food to survive a month or so, and wait till the government start doing things and taking control. Our biggest threat is going to be each other. Yeah. We're locked in here, you know. Uh, what the did beer they, runs out. Uh, some French philosopher, it's from Red Dwarf, said uh, hell is being locked uh, in eternity with your friends. I think that is bold says, Yeah, well, all these mates are French. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, uh, you know, we, we might go stir crazy and drive each other insane. Although there are enough separate rooms where we could, you know, if it got bad, just give each other some space. But... Yeah, because I think we do a good job of barricading downstairs and we're pretty much set because yeah. we're not on yeah. the ground floor. Like... Um, so I'll keep us going for what three months. Yeah, they, 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 they and then people got tan, t- uh, canned food in there. In the, yeah. Yeah. And so say we've got three months of supplies. We yeah. hold up for three months. We, we fill up every sink, every bathtub. Yeah. We need a lot of clean. We bottle as much water as we can. Yeah. If the electricity is still going, we refrigerate it. Might still be able to get the Batteries. internet for a little bit, or at least an emergency TV signal, so there's something to watch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Radio probably. Oh, as yeah. discussed in previous episodes. We get the alternator from a car, mm. a fan or a bike, something to turn it around, and we can generate electricity. In theory, mm. we're aware With of some potatoes and lemons. The alternator from the van, we could, if we knew how to use banners and things like that, mm. and how to find the alternator. Well, I tell you what, before the internet goes down, we just download yes, Wikipedia. All the information we download, ev- and porn. How many computers? As much take porn as to have all of Wikipedia. We've got, downloaded. we've got two laptops. A lot. Oh, so once a, once a porn. How much information is the whole of Wikipedia? We should find that out. We need a laptop good. for porn. We will have two. We'll have the Wikipedia and the Pornopedia. But we get yeah. like we get like three minutes There'll at a time. That's a lot. You, you and a you... massive belt, tub of wipes next to each because you know just because yeah. it's apocalypse. Ration the wipes. You get one. <laughs> yeah, and don't. Flush and you get three minutes of battery time, pipe. and that's it. Yeah. <laughs> You're not done in three minutes, to shit. Three. Yeah, yeah, basically finish three. off with your imagination. Yeah, I don't need three fucking <laughs> minutes. <laughs> no, even better. <laughs> but yeah, okay, so, so three months. Then, then what? Then what? We have to go well, and get... Hopefully the fucking government have started well, to get on top of it. Okay, say, enough, it, say it's got worse. The problem's only got worse and we are actually in the zombie apocalypse. They sound like a full Hunger Games on this shit, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got to go outside to get food. Well, yeah. Too, uh, <laughs> or we find somewhere else more permanent. Yeah, so we we got to link up with people, which yeah. we don't want to do. But then, because people but that's are bad. Innate human nature, and it maybe we'll be distrusting of them. But us, us, us three will trust each other. Why don't we build months. across the the rooftops, bridges? From what? We just got to clear out well, every we've floor. Been to the, um, oh yeah, okay. So we build it out doors. of doors. So we use fence panels and doors to build, so we don't ever have to go on the floor. Yeah. Is that you're thinking? That's we it. So we can just have a whole. We build a city like so, the Ewoks. So, like the Ewoks. Oh, city. Ro- yeah. oh Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves. Yeah. You're thinking Robin Hood, Prince of Thieves, yeah, Treetop Village. Yeah, but on top of the houses yeah. of the estate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. But then oh, there's somebody sent alive in. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, well, the Celts turn up. Yeah, uh, uh, yeah, uh, the fucking Celts. Uh, uh, you're a Celt, you're uh, ginger, you can reason uh, with them. I'm French. You we established know, this. Oh, well, Normans, they were, they were the, Norman, the Celts were working with the Normans, you can negotiate with both groups. I'm lost to doing history. No, it was Robin and Prince of Thieves oh. just <laughs> <laughs> I did used to love that movie I'm oh, yeah. that, at the time. Because I was a bit Robin Hood obsessed as yeah. a child. Well, and that was the didn't, only didn't movie. that song really piss you off? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to lie to you. As a child, I actually thought it was I liked like, Brian Adams and I liked it at first, but it did great. As I mean. an adult now, yes, I think it's quite... Even then, after... Because it was number one for like in the longest weeks. ever number one, yeah, it was. Yeah. What was Be- the song again? Uh, uh, everything I Do, I Do It For You. Oh, it... it but, um, and I remember wondering... that um, it was that um, 
that Scottish pop band. The Pretenders? No, they got number one. The Proclaimers? Wet, wet, wet. Wet, 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 that's it. Oh, God, I remember they had himself. number one for like 15 weeks. It was a week below them. And the lead singer, what, Marty Pello? Yeah. He said, I, I hate... It <laughs> <in my business. laughs> that was it, wasn't he it? He said, I'm so sick of that song. And the next week it dropped off number one. Hey. <laughs> I feel it. No, he, even he got sick of it. Yeah. I feel it in my pee. <laughs> it's my zombie wife. <laughs> oh, it's pretty, it's pretty good. <laughs> I'm not joining in with that. It cuts me like the edge. No, sorry, I have a knife. Uh, sorry, I'm going to give up on that. I'm just, my point is, if I loved her, I would keep, I wouldn't shoot her. So, I think you're being severely misguided. No, no, I'm being romantic. So to kind of summarise, barring our plan of, you know, barricading the flat we're in right now, none of our plans we think are feasible. No, beyond three months we're looking for rescue. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Right. I mean, so in conclusion, we're fucked. Yeah, I mean, I could write. I could achieve a lot of writing, but like you said, yeah. it's not going to help anyone. Um, so yeah, I'm with you guys. I, I honestly hope I don't survive the initial outbreak or whatever, I, you know, I... I'm no help to you guys. I'm no help <laughs> to anyone. And my imaginary fictional wife, I mean, like, according to you guys, I'm not really even helping her, am I? No. No. <sighs> Sorry, baby. <laughs> Are you going to do it or do you want me to do it? Uh, you might have to do it, man. <laughs> but please don't gloat about it. Man. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Don't, like, don't whine me. Don't be like the cat. On red door, really <laughs> cold about it. Like, man, we should have seen the whale brain. Hold up the wall, man. <laughs> oh. I know I'll be sensitive. I, I, I can you. do sensitive. I love you. So yeah, I'm. Yeah, in conclusion, we are fucked. Up. Yeah, so, pretty much. We'll be looking for the nearest. We'll be trying to desperately get information and find the nearest check-in point. Where do we go? What do we do? Where's the camp? Yeah. What you know? Where do we go? Please help us. Um, God, imagine the portal who was at a zombie oh, refugee no, camp. Oh, Christ, it'd be worse man. than Glastonbury, and that's oy, fucking oy, saying oy. something. I once saw... Listen to this. I once saw... Puke on top of shit. Oh. Which then had another shit on top of the puke. Oh. Which was then capped with, like, the filthiest cherry on the top I've ever seen of a hypodermic needle. Oh. oh! I'm sorry, but death by portaloo zombie is going to be the one Somebody that Somebody yeah. was desperate enough for a shit that they shot on top of some puke, which was on top of some shit. Oh. And then somebody else went in there oh. and injected <laughs> drugs intravenously. Oh, God. That's not even remotely hygienic. It's the, <laughs> it's the festival of love. <laughs> oh, Fucking Jesus buried, Christ. Very, very dirty people. Yeah, the needles in. Sounds oh, like Shizer Fest 2013. <laughs> <laughs> Were you at Shizer Fest 2013? No, it was Fuck you, man. It wasn't one of, one of your weird role-playing things either. <laughs> I thought, was, I guess you thought Mark had been to a festival called Shizer Fest 2013 for a second. No, no, you took the some way you insults this episode. What the fuck did I do to upset you guys? I just genuinely thought he'd been to a festival called Shizer Fest 2013. No! I don't know no, not you, one. Mike. I thought Mike oh. had been. <laughs> I don't even know there is one, to be honest. Oh, well, you seem pretty knowledgeable on the subject. I think a couple of seconds ago. I have reached you levels of high in this episode. <laughs> no, you thought Mike had been. <laughs> so, yeah. so, okay, so we end this with some actual factual information. Yes. Yeah. Facts <laughs> instead of random it's time bullshit. For the facts. Facts, facts. Hit us with the facts, Mike. Facts. Well, right, okay. Here's the facts, science, boys. I'll, I'll, re- I'll rename thing. that Mike's facts, actually. <laughs> <laughs> and I know that most shows have a fact checker, like actual professional shows, but I would say that this is a communal show, and you, the listener, you are the fact checker. Oh, yeah. It's your fucking responsibility to find out whether what we're saying is horse shit or not. Not ours. Onto That's your it. facts, Mike. <laughs> facts in, in, in quotes. Okay, neuroscientists from Carnegie Mellon University. Where's that? Carnegie Mellon? Where the fuck's Carnegie Mellon? I'm in the Carnegie Hall. Yeah, oh, you thought that. Did you see that? I'm in a I'm in a Carnegie Hall, so therefore that university was irrelevant or accurate. I'm a neuroscientist at Carnegie Hall. Okay, it's in Pennsylvania. We oh, okay, all right. Like these, no, that's... these are facts, but they're not facts uh, at all. <laughs> and, 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 
and the University of California, San Diego. Oh, in San a Diego. Study um, of Wales vagina. Hey. <laughs> 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 okay, uh, okay, they analysed zombie films and they worked uh, which sections of the brain would be damaged to trigger zombie behaviours such okay. as thirst for blood, lack of coordination, etc. Lack of a cigarette on a Monday morning, many chance. All the things I have when I drink too many. <laughs> and they came up with a hypothetical condition known as CDHD minus one and CDHD minus two. Right, okay. Any questions? What's the difference between the two? The difference is like ADHD just with dead people. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what he stands for. Is that, that why they never <laughs> constantly won't stop? <laughs> 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 it's just ADHD. Yeah. Oh. Sorry. That must be. That be my major breakthrough to be fair. Well, minus one is to do with slow zombies, and minus two is fast zombies, hey, hey, yeah. hey. which we haven't discussed yet. Slow. That's yeah. it. That's a bit harsh. Well, well, I think we've got <laughs> challenged. Challenged. It is completely correct. So. Um, I could tell you one thing. It's not retarded. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> 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 what <did you> do? <laughs> Man, jump the arbor. Can't say oh, that. I said mean, it wasn't retarded. Oh, I think you said athletically challenged. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Allegedly, Allegedly, all of this. Um, yeah. I'm going to... Everything we say is a Anyway, uh, I'm with the time for the disclaimer. I'm with the people. <laughs> Paralympics. Quick move on, quick say the next part. <laughs> no, no, no. The fucking government are persecuting disabled people in this country. Get the word out. It's a massacre. Okay. Well, then, uh, thanks, <laughs> well, that part that's really. thanks, Mike. Um, yeah. And yeah. Yeah. Um, we, we, of course, we... we uh, well, they've been criticised by the UN. We, we endorse... We're the first country to be criticised by the UN for crimes against disabled people. I think that is horrendous, to be honest. What if they say people were zombies? Oh, well, that's different. <laughs> Even so, we do condemn it. Um, yeah. Um, we stand with those. We, 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 yeah, we don't, don't discriminate. We don't stand with them. We don't stand with them. I'm going to edit that part out. <laughs> no, you're not. No, you are not. <laughs> you are not editing that bit out. Ben I says, forbid it. we don't stand with disabled zombies. <laughs> That's a t-shirt. We also don't stand with disabled people, <laughs> tragically, which is what I wanted Eddie to do. <laughs> no, not <laughs> Because uh, some of those guys can't oh, stand. fuck. We're with them. Oh, we're, 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 Black we're, triangle. Oh, God. Moving on. What are we saying? What are we saying? Okay, uh, so they, they, yeah. reckon, <laughs> they reckon the damage... <laughs> Damage to the fusiform gyrus. The what? The fusiform gyrus. The okay. Fusy Wasn't that a muppet? <laughs> the fusiform gyrus. What's the fusiform? Or gyrus, gyrus. It's the word before that. I'm fusy from. Fusy from. Fusy from. That's a yogurt. What <laughs> language are you speaking? It's a part of the brain. The fusy from gyrus. <laughs> I've seen that part of mine. Isn't it? Oh shit! So you, you just haven't activated your fusion. No, we need to calm down. Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> Let's right. just assume this is part of the brain. Okay, okay yeah, it's sorry. part of the brain, and it's the in inability to recognise faces. Okay, makes sense. The zombie trait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not known for their facial recognition. And also uh, damage to the orbitofrontal cortex. Yeah, okay, yeah. frontal cortex seems important. Which is the inability to suppress inappropriate responses, i.e. what you just said. <laughs> I said nothing. Okay. <laughs> and eating people and things like that, you know. I've never eaten anybody. So well, apparently if you get damaged, <laughs> we're not going to. If you get damaged in the orbital, orbitofrontal cortex, there is a chance you could start eating people. I could go pull Jeffrey Dahmer. You could. Where where bouts in your brain is that though physically? Somewhere in the front, <laughs> I guess. Oh. Orbito frontal cortex. Hey, that bee's coming in fucking handy today. <laughs> okay, and uh, <laughs> I also found out there were five diseases that could make you act like a zombie. Ooh. Come on then. Okay, so we've got sleeping sickness by the tetsy fly. Ooh. Okay. Okay, that puts you in a zombie-like state. Yeah. Headaches, sweats, and all that. You know the symptoms of zombie. And then you slip into a coma, a zombie-like coma, and then you die. Okay, I'm not trying to eat anybody, though. No, the, I'm just saying, the, put all together, put all five together, which you'll see in a minute, 
Okay, then there's rabies. Nasty one. Obviously, you're you're inclined to eat people. Okay, you can't unless you drink the morning after. You can't walk, and you've got manic aggression. Uh, I, How can you not walk and have manic aggression? Like you're just dragging yourself along, and you're looking. Ah, you, you with the fuck? Just pulling yourself along. There've been times in my life where I've been immobile on the floor in a rage. You can shuffle uh, like a zombie. Essentially, you can't walk. Oh right, and there's like you know, no. Like I think it was like, like yeah. <laughs> no, you don't. Hit you with a fucking shield. <laughs> <laughs> Masochist. Okay, and then you've got uh, oh, what's called <laughs> Nicole. I want to come. <laughs> Do the thing. Oh. Facts, Mike. Facts. You have something called uh, necrosis, which is mm-hmm. the death of individual cells. That sounds painful. Yeah, I feel so, that after, every time a woman leaves me. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, and then we've got dysarth- dysarthria, which affects speech and means you grunt and things like that. I'd like that if I'm drunk. Yard. And obviously then you've got, le- <laughs> you've got leprosy, which is decaying body parts. So you're saying if you somehow manage yeah. to contract all of these things yeah. at the same time, you could be considered a zombie. Mm-hmm. And that's the patient zero. The first person who ever yeah. does contract all these things at once, that's patient zero. And yeah. if that blood spills and spreads... <coughs> so imagine if that fucker... Here's a scenario, so how does it spread? So that's patient zero, somehow gets sucked into a jet engine at a busy air. <laughs> his blood gets splattered out the back and hey. affects an entire um, like um, departure lounge full of people who then yeah. get on planes and go to all over the world, to different countries... Yeah, and I think I've just worked out how it started. He, yeah. he says it's transported by blood. It could be airborne. That film that Ben brought up said it was blood and f- uh, film. <laughs> Shut up, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, it, I, I yeah. just worked, I just laid it out. You know, I think that was a pretty inventive. Yeah, it's yeah, a way for the stars. Wasn't, wasn't that the um, the plot to thirty uh, thirteen monkeys? Is it? Uh, 12 monkeys. 12 monkeys. 12 monkeys. 13. <laughs> what? 13 somebody in my book. Somebody got sucked into the yes. engine. Uh, no, 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 they're on a plane when it yeah, started, it's wasn't it? Oh, yeah. right. well, well, God, all right. Yeah, it's 12 exactly monkeys. It's plagiarism. Yeah, have you never seen 12 monkeys? Yeah, I have, but I can't oh, remember. There's 13 exact... monkeys in there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember the exact details. Wait, I you guys are hanging out without me? I feel like I'm quite harshly treated this episode. I thought that I was don't very, see how. You, I think you, that was a very ingenious um, um, It was. I was backing you up. I was saying, no, you're accusing me of plagiarism. No, I was saying, even if you're not, you're not in the film, though. No, so. The samurai sword. Down. <laughs> <laughs> and what was okay. the crowbar called again? Bloody stabby. Bloody stabby, <laughs> yeah. I can see him shining over there. But, yeah, so... Yeah, sorry. Right, so the, basically, I'll call the blade you, Alice. You, Alice, who the fuck is yeah, Alice? Who the fuck is, <laughs> this is the question the red's got. Yeah, and then you, before you kill me, you say, this is fucking... Yeah. <laughs> but, um, so, yeah, so you basically say yeah, you've well, got to get all of those things. No, I'm just saying, yeah, I'm saying that the symptoms in nature, the diseases that have all these symptoms of zomb- zombieism, so we know that new pathogens are being created all the time. Yeah. Possibly in government labs. Possibly in government labs. Are there Possibly any other in, kind of labs? Well, one's Mad in volcanoes. Labs. Yeah. yeah, one's government do, sponsored. I one, bet. one underneath volcanoes, uh, oh, under okay. the sea, yeah. under the Arctic ice as well. Yeah. Remember, there's always a good place of uh, a secret base. And apparently, someone left a, a, a yogurt pot of smallpox in a fridge. Oh wow! But that's according to uh, Paul Pilkington. So, oh yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> I wouldn't say that. Not, not a reliable it's source. Gospel. Ed shaped like an orange. Yeah, that's the one. Don't find him funny. I love him. He's funny uh, as well. I like it, I guess. Yeah, but I'm not going to take his opinion on No. Zombies. So we all got pots full of small box. Do you have any well, more? Yeah, in nature, one more thing. Well, there's the... Um, there's that wasp, isn't there? No, no, the spores that... Yeah, go into an ant's brain. into an ant's brain, and then it'll climb up a tree, and then it'll just stay there, and it'll die, and then the... The fungi will just come out of its head. Yeah, like a, it basically makes the ant into yeah. a zombie, leads it to the wasp, stream. I think, that, that lays its eggs in, in yeah, a brain. Yeah, controls the ant's like brain. Rick, yeah. Yeah. Controls Rick. Yeah. Pickle Rick. Yeah. Pickle Rick! Uh, so in nature, there are things that cause... Have you watched Ricky Morty as well? Yeah. Yeah. Pickle Rick! Does my watch? No, I haven't yet. No, no oh, you... I love it. It's I've only seen an episode or two, but I know, yeah, I, I have got it bookmarked. Yeah. I'm... 
I'm just I getting through. I binge watched series three this morning. That's why I'm so high. <laughs> <laughs> I'm rewatching Game of Thrones yeah. all the way through. Uh, so, uh, when that's finished. So should we? Because we we're going to discuss our favourite zombie movies in a sec. Did you have one more? Sorry, I'm so no, sorry. No, that was it. The un- oh, right. well, I'm just saying. I just want to just say that there's things in nature that already happen that yeah, there is cause yeah. zombification. So the puffer fish. Yeah, but um, the humble puffer fish. Oh, Gaz has got something on philosophy. So, yeah. Well, this is why. Um, like, well, the headline of the. Article, I'm interested to hear actually. The headline of the article is. I'll drink beer. And this will prove why we had the discussion that we sort of naturally had earlier of how we would survive. Um, Stanford scholar explains why zombie fascination is very much alive. Stanford literary researcher ties our modern obsession with zombies to the survivalist mentality that developed after World War II. And this is an article by Kelsey Geiser from Stanford News. I think it's a Kelsey Grammar then. (laughs) Yeah. And this is a proper proper article. The website is www.news.stanford.education. Ooh. It's it's written by Sideshow Barb. Mm, Yes. Um... From the popularity of violent video games to the skyrocketing appeal of the zombie thriller TV show, The Walking Dead, it seems like everyone is talking, at least in pop culture circles, about the apocalypse. The fascination with the end of the world, says Stanford literary scholar Andrea, Angela Becerra Videgara. That's an so impressive sorry name. That I butchered your name, Dr. Videgara. Dr. Angela. Dr. Angela, yes, God bless you. You're an angel can be traced back to the advent of nuclear warfare during World War II. Yeah. Our collective visions of the future changed drastically after the horrific events of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. Yeah, just look at what's beyond, behind the Pope's the throne professor. to look at that. Oh, that's, that's yeah. another episode for another time, Mike. That is another episode. Mass destruction became a reality, and the terrible violence of the Holocaust and other WW2 events brought up... I thought you were going to say WWE then. WWE, <laughs> a bit. What you going to do? Events brought up disturbing realisations about the human capacity for violence. We no longer necessarily imagine the type of positive future that was more prevalent in centuries past, for example, during the Enlightenment or the Industrial Revolution, said the professor. She explores these themes in her doctoral dissertation, Fictions of Destruction, Post-1945 Narrative and Disaster in the Collective Imaginary. Well, that sounds like a fucking... Mm. Can I just at this point interject? Mm. I just want to toot my own horn. Ooh, oh. I want to interject and toot my own horn. I want to interject and toot oh. my own horn. Do you mind? Oh. Would you mind, sir? I'm addicted to tooting. <laughs> I'm going to toot my own horn and say that I've written an article that was published. Oh, you? It was called Are We the Walking Dead? And you can find it on Greenville Post. Oh, he's plugging his own work. Why am I the only one with work to plug? Uh, what's the name of where you, your employer Ben? <laughs> no, I'm joking, don't. <laughs> no, I'm better Mike's not. Article. And also listen to my audio book, Yeah, I'll back that up. That's very funny. Um, it's very okay. funny, girl. Okay, she, about, she found... That the, I'll get to the good bit. She found that the events of the 20th century, along with movements to increase environmental awareness... Of course, a lot of doubt about the consequences of our development as modernised societies. And instead, we are left with this cultural fixation on fictionalising our own death. Very specifically, mass-scale destruction. According to the professor, we use fictional narratives not only to emotionally cope with the possibility of impending doom, but even more importantly, perhaps, to work through the ethical and philosophical frameworks that were in many ways left shattered in the wake of WWE, WWE. <laughs> Through a dissertation... Uh, was that accidental? Or d- <laughs> yeah, uh, <laughs> basically, uh, let's should we get to the good bit. The intrigue of survivalism. Because I think that's what it really comes from, isn't it? Like that discussion yeah. we just had, we all like to think, oh, what would I do? How would I do it? Uh, I, I said, I like the idea of being the last man alive. I, I love go. that idea. Just me. A bunch drive, of green women, be fantastic. Yeah. The drive for survival can be said to be an inherent attribute of mankind. However, in recent decades, there has been an increased interest in survivalism as a movement of individuals or groups to actively prepare for disaster, which it is, isn't it? In yeah. real life, it massively is. Yeah. That's the thing that shocked me, I told you. For research purposes, I listened to the entire four-hour Alex Jones just daily oh. broadcast and... The thing that shocked me the most was the fucking advertising, man. 
Oh, oh yeah, get your iodine, yeah. ah, get your yeah. iodine shots. And the bulletproof the vests, they can stop a, a 45 Magnum Listen, round. Yeah. I thought this Why was would a I joke. want it to? I thought this was a joke advert, so I had to pull over and Google it. It's not. There is a fucking bug zapper that is a miniature shotgun that fires salt. What? It's a miniature shotgun that fires salt like a real, it works, it doesn't take any batteries, it's got, it's a machine, it has the mechanisms yeah. to, at such velocity that you can take out bugs and things with what? it. And it's about 80 fucking though. quid. No, no, no. You well, put like, salt in it. Somehow mechanically that. it works like a shotgun. A fires gun it works because it's a bullet and it's got gunpowder. And I'm pretty sure yeah, there's it's some way to use it friction and movements to. I'll uh, fucking uh, show you it. Right, I'm it's just not, sorry. Of I, course, it's not an actual gun powered miniature pug. You'd need a fucking gun license and then, like. But it's a working yeah, shotgun. Okay, well, I, was, I just wondered how it was powered by salt. I mean. It's not powered by salt. Thing, <laughs> Mike, it's not powered by salt. Calm down, science boy. It All fires right. salt. Oh, it fires salt. Oh, fuck. Powered <laughs> by, yeah, it's powered by magic and combustion, <laughs> Mike. <laughs> you fucking say a little prayer about <laughs> it. It's got some kind of sodium combustion. There. It's a fucking mm. miniature shotgun that so you don't need salt. Yeah. I've been sized, you science boy. Anyway, so it was chloride. advertised on the fucking show. That's the level of people he's advertising to. People that will pay eighty pounds for a miniature shotgun that fires salt to kill fucking flies. I'd with. probably yeah. pay that. Right? And to fire the that's fluoride free. Fucking shelter. It was just ridiculous oh, survivalist no. insanity and just constant doom and gloom preacher style. And it and I'm not even gonna bother with the rest of the article because I'm too pissed, but the basic gist is we're obsessed with it because Things are too good. Things are so good. We're obsessed with fictionalizing how it's all going to come to an end. Because yeah. there is no real threat day to day. We've got it so fucking good. Yeah. This is my reading of it. We've got it so good. We're so comfortable. More comfortable than we ever have been in human history, as far as we know, part of ancient yeah. civilization. Well, that's it. We're getting as far away from our primitive, mm -hmm. primeval urges. So it makes us obsessed with fictionalizing. And of like course, it's said, taboo, isn't our it? Our own end. Cannibalism. How will this end? Cannibalism is it's arguably the oh, it's last your taboo. Time taboo. Yeah. Look what happened to the survivors I heard today on the documentary. Those the Donner Party, you know that story. Um, no. Oh, I'm gonna say. I, I know the, the, the guys in the uh, 1973 plane crash, the Brazilian football team. Well, one yeah. of them. Yeah. Yeah. It's alive. It's alive. It's alive. Yeah. That was, film. That was his yeah. Yeah. It's very sad. The Donner Party was in when America was first being, um, uh, you know, formed, taken. <laughs> Uh, it was like described as a road trip from hell. They tried to go somewhere. They suddenly got fucked over by weather, disease, lack of supplies. Ended up eating some members of their uh, camp. But then remember, this was those very early times, I guess 1800s or something. When they actually, the survivors of it, it was months they were lost in the wilderness. When yeah. they actually made it back to civilization and told their story, they were completely shunned and sort of treated a bit like witches by the very Christian oh, yeah. religious beings. Yeah, like, oh, you at humans, you've got a taste for it now, you'll do it against, the, like I said, Mike, the ultimate taboo. And I'm sorry if anybody, historical people, if I really didn't get the Donner party story, I think I got the main. Oh man, I'm really, yeah. I'm really sorry to any cannibals in Papua New Guinea. Kind of want a Donner kebab right now. Yeah, <laughs> I love listeners. kebabs. Have we got any listeners in Papua New Guinea? I don't think we have. No, we've got some well, in America though, haven't we? And where else? Yeah. Australia. And we've had the American we ones because we are quite critical of you Spain, at times. Portugal. Yeah. Portugal, we're fucking international. The Russian Federation. People listen to our bullshit internationally. Yay. And actually, we are thankful for the American ones because we do criticise you at some times. You know, yeah, yeah. You know. we do. Yeah, but we're your, we're your fucking accent. We're just your fucking lap dog, so what does that make us? Yeah, yeah that makes us... You know, I don't, I don't grandise the Brits at all. We did some fucking terrible things, awful things, during, especially during the occupation of India. And Well, you know, history. Yeah, it's good hindsight. We were a fucking... No, I'm just downplaying that. We saw us that might go around. You know, we invent, we invented concentration camps. I just want to stop like, going around. So rant. basically, right. So for future reference, we don't Ben, we don't want Ben to go on a reggae rant. We don't want Mike to go on a Britain is. And I agree with you. We did worse things than the Nazis, but they don't teach us that at school. Of course not. Um, nope. Let's not get into that now because nope. we're doing fantasy. Shall we wrap this up? Because we've been going yes. a long time. Zombie film. Zombie our top film. five zombie films. Because I haven't seen many. Shall I? Shall I start? Go for it, man. Um, the original Night of the Living Dead, number one. Love that. I had to watch that at uni for film studies. And um, I do like it. I love that film. I mean, 
It's very political. Yeah. Mm-hmm. They're coming for you, Barbara. Yeah. Um, right Day of the Dead. Yeah, I love the uh, the third one of the Romero sort of. Yeah. Uh, I love that. There's the army base. You got Bob with his Luger. We yeah, touch you're on a him. Mad scientist Frankenstein. Yeah, I mean, you know, the the army guys get, you know, they sat around growing weed. Yeah, My, that's what I'd do if I, I was a secure yeah, base. You got, you got the great Jamaican, yeah, the hippie Jamaican that just wants to smoke weed in the, in the yeah. caravan and go to an island and yeah. So you got you got the the tug of power between the the soldiers and the scientists. Yeah. Yeah, uh, Shaun of the Dead, number three for That's me. That's my favourite. You like Shaun of the Dead? It's yeah. not only my favourite zombie film, it's one of my favourite films. Uh, yeah. I was so into space at uni, the TV show. Have you ever mm. seen that? Yeah. That's where they all came together, the director, Simon Pegg, yeah. and Frost. Ben is Mike from Space. Yeah. Well, what he was when he was in the TA. Um, anyway. I absolutely adored I have nothing to say about that. And <laughs> Shaun of the Dead was the first thing they did after space. And I remember going to see it in an empty cinema... Was More it Shaun the Dead or...? Uh, Shaun the Dead, yeah. First thing they did after Space, that was. Yeah, there's a trilogy, um, isn't there? Oh, it was, yeah, it was yeah. Shaun the Dead. So I was thinking, yeah, sorry. Yeah, 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 right, slowly. Right. I remember the cinema being empty, but I remember it blowing my head up. Because it was like, Space, but a movie and zombies, and I love it. But it snowboarded and got very popular, that movie, and then obviously led to Hot Fuzz, which is another favourite of mine. It's a good film. The World's yep. End. The World's End. Never seen The World's End. I have. Not so good. It's not so good, but it's still not bad. Yeah. It's alright, but that that, that was the film with Emma Watson's better. Hey, oh no, none of that, Mike. None of that, because you're getting excited. It's <laughs> so good, and Hot Fuzz is so good. But showing the dead man, the inventiveness of it. Every shot, there's something visually happening. Everything means something. Everything's an in joke. Oh, Everything's yeah. a reference. It's a criticalized it's, dream, isn't it? Oh, yeah. it's fucking amazing, <laughs> and uh, it's got real heart to it, and some emotional. Oh, his mum and all funny. that end. Hey, it's fucking funny yeah. as fuck. Yeah. That's the main thing, and it's a but, comedy and funny. it's very, It's a very great pun of the title. You know? Yeah. Hey, it's yeah. incredibly British. You know what I mean? It's a British... Oh, average, yeah. How would... Um, how would some average Brits react? You know, he's still, like I was saying, I know she's not a zombie, but he's still more concerned with sorting out his love life, isn't it? Yeah. He's still... And I love and that. That, that would be you. Yeah. The like, oh, we, we've got to go and get... Yeah, I'll be going My to ex's say, names. Yeah, we won't say a name, but we'll, um, I'll be going um, to try and get her. And he'll be like, no, no for Gaz, fuck's sake, Gaz. Come on, I'm like, oh, she's not a zombie yet. Look, mate, I'll help you when she's alive, when she's dead. <laughs> That's the oh, then, hey. yeah. All right, then, we've reached a, we've reached a deal, then, I agree. Yeah. Yeah. That's okay. But we'll just hope she doesn't get bit. So yeah, yeah that's my favourite one, sorry to jump in, because yeah. I haven't seen um, any, to be honest. Number four, Zombieland. Love oh, I do, oh, I do love that film, actually. Yeah. Woody Harrelson, Bill Murray. Yeah. Well, Woody Harrelson. You've got films than you think, haven't you? I have, yeah. No, w- w- about Woody Harrelson, at the end, with his uh, yeah. his old mm. magazines laid out, he's in the booth, and he's just... Oh, fire, he's, it, yeah, love it. Yeah, and and Bill Murray in it is yeah. awesome. Bill Murray's great, even though yeah, I was in yeah. it. Uh, and, and, of course... Is there two? Oh, they did a series, but didn't take oh, off. I, I watched the first episode. See, Bill Murray's bad. doing what I would do, pretending to be one. Mm. Yeah. He says in it, and doesn't he, that he goes to the shops and stuff, yeah. like yeah. he can walk among them. Yeah. Who's Eddie Van Halen doing? Yeah. Oh, hey. What's that? hey. Know, so. Sorry, we were just checking that we're still live and in living colour. Um, yeah, Bill Murray, who's Eddie Van Halen? He's a zombie. Yeah, man. <laughs> he still is off, plays golf. <laughs> That's a good day, doesn't he? <laughs> But then he just dresses on me and killed. Yeah, mm. there is a downside. I mean, you just say he's no good at practical jokes. Yeah. Uh-huh. And uh, I like the remake of The Under the Dead with the fast zombies, which you haven't really gone into, but fast zombies, I, I disagree just... with to a oh, point. I do, to well. a point. I've but 28 one. Days Later worked well because that was a that was more of a viral thing. Exactly. Mm. And Dawn of the Dead, they are saying these are World dead War people. World War Z, it didn't work so well. I hated World War Z. I've, seen it. I've got it in my notes okay. about uh, the book is about the film. film. Is it your worst one? It, it? It's, I, I despise it because the book was so good. Yeah, me. The book was, I mean, in the book, guys, you've got to read World War Z, World War Z if you haven't. Okay. In the book, I've read it. Like, even he, Mike's written, I, every book I lend him, he's like, he takes like <laughs> a year to read. Yeah, I'm so I, 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 The fact that I read it on my toilet trips so I'm around here <laughs> faster than he reads it in a year says everything. You can but, do it, Mike. Yeah, but still on Game of Thrones book one. Yeah, <laughs> literally. Yeah, two I'm years later, zero. Yeah. I've nearly finished it. Never um, changed. But would the? I mean, in the book, you get like the U.S. Army getting its ass handed to it by a shitload of zombies. Oh, okay. Right, and it, it's a great scene. It's really well written. Max Brooks, full full props, and it's just oh, it's amazing because you're like. 
the US Army, they got all that <laughs> shit, and none of it can take down a whole design because it's all designed yeah. to be precision. Battle the Yonkers. Battle the Yonkers, exactly. Well, and then and then you got this bounty hunter character because he goes around the world basically the book yeah like the Japanese samurai with the katana yeah yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. the the, um, the blind dude he got he got blinded by the a bomb didn't he, and he yeah he became sure he a... had more than thirty minutes training <laughs> yeah he yeah. did he had a lifetime of training a lifetime of it uh... but there's but I'm, I'm not taking anything away from your weapon it's great... better than mine which was the choice of hiding. <laughs> <you know? laughs> but there's a great <laughs> bit in it where there's this bounty hunter character bounty hunter character. Mm. He previously worked for the rich and famous, um, like in this secure house where they were webcasting the fucking survival feed and all that. <laughs> that Genuinely, is. and it would be you can just imagine someone doing it. They, they can't turn off that hunger mm. for publicity. Yeah, obvious. but it, he says like at the end, like oh, he's got this like steel uh, Maori uh, weapon paddle. It's, it is a paddle. It's a paddle of wood. And it's got sharp teeth, but it's made of steel. And he's like, yeah, I got mm. this off a Maori brother, and he used to play for the All Blacks for the war. There's 500 Maoris taken on half the Walking Dead in New Zealand. Mm. And you were like, yeah. that's what I wanted to see in the film. Yeah. I want to see a bunch of Maoris doing Not... the hacker to a shitload of zombies before rushing down the hill and just out at them. Not... That's what I want to see. I don't want to see Brad Pitt <laughs> going around the world solving his little, yeah. trying to solve a cure. I'd like to see Fuck the that shit. Like, let's, have the, let's have the scenario on this film where we band together and whoop a shitload of ass. Yeah. Because that's what we do in the book. Yeah. So why can't we do it in the film? Can I just say, just uh, you mentioned New Zealand. I want to make a mention to The Last of the Living, which is a New Zealand film akin to Shaun the Dead. Mm. It didn't make my list, but it, it is a good film. And the soundtrack's fucking awesome. It is um, Last of the Living. Yeah. Kind of, Dinosaur Junior, was it? No, no. Who was it? Who did the, who did the, the, the soundtrack to that? I love oh. Dinosaur Junior. Yeah, Last of the Living, yeah. it was, um, I can't Frank remember. Frank Wu. Yeah. Frank Wu, that's it. Frank Wu. Wasn't he something to do with Dinosaur Jr.? No, nothing in the New Zealanders, I think. Yeah, man, I'm sure that's, that song had something to do with that band. No. Well, oh, well, there we go. I, I have to give an honourable mention because I couldn't fit them on the five. Okay. To uh, Army of Darkness. Is it technically oh, a zombie okay. film? They are reanimated corpses. Yeah, yeah. Love Army of Darkness. I like that movie. Yeah, good like. film. Yeah. With his boomstick. Yeah. I'm yeah. a fan. So I'm, I'm blind. Guess- I'm blind. Yeah. yeah. So so I'm guessing you've got uh, top five. Yeah, I've got uh, the three, the trilogy. I've got Night of the Living Dead, Dawn of the Dead, Day of the Dead. Is Dawn of the Dead the remake or the uh, uh, fourth? Is Dawn of the Dead remake? Oh, so you got two films the same. Yeah, two films the same because I thought the remake was really good. Okay. Um, and the fifth one I've got is Evil Dead Two. Ah, where well, he gets the chainsaw yeah. hand. Yeah. I like that. It's basically a remake, but better, isn't it? Yeah. The first one. Mm. It's yeah. kind of weird trilogy that, in a way. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Army of Darkness is great. I love it. I just prefer Evil Dead Two. I think it, yeah, it's, it's probably my favorite. Army of Darkness yeah. is quite corny at times, yeah, which is be. why I had to give it an honourable mention rather than giving it. Yeah. And uh, my worst film is the Day of the Dead remake. Oh, I know it's my worst film. Day of the Dead remake. I thought film. your worst one was World War Z. No, no, my worst film is actually Oz Zombie. I've never seen it. Oh man, it's it's. Mm. I got drawn to this film via the internet, and it's basically Osama bin Laden has a zombie virus. <laughs> a SEAL team six turned up to kill him. He injected himself with it. Mm. They got set upon by a shitload of zombies. Mm. They managed to make it out. They got him. He's dead. They shot him in the head. And they shot him so through the heart. He doesn't shut the head. That would negate the zombie <laughs> yeah. virus completely. He no. then wakes <laughs> up and crashes the helicopter. He falls in the sea. He spreads the zombie virus through Afghanistan. Special forces teams go in, <laughs> take him out. They all fail by this one. It's really bad. I, what was what drew me to it was the trailer, mm. which had like an AC-130 gunship. You must have all played Call of Duty. Mm, I no, have but, um, briefly. You more, you Sam must know what one is. Getting destroyed anyway, by my fourteen-year-old nephew. But yeah, anyway, an AC-130 gunship was taking out a shitload of zombies, and I thought, man, that looks awesome. It was one of the worst songs I've ever seen in my life. It. it was terrible. It was. I awful. made it through it then. I'm definitely gonna no. Honestly, I didn't make it. I've never the day. actually made it through that entire film. The Day of the Dead remake was so bad. It had. Um, the Black Cop in it, I'm sure it was the Black Cop that was in Dawn Dead remake. Ving Rhames. Yeah, and Mina Savari, is that her name? I don't know. She was in, um, not American Pie, the other one. Yeah, I'm getting more specific than that one. You know, you got American Pie and you got you got the other one, what was the other one called? 
I made a so- there was a famous American song by Wheatus. What was it called? Wheatus. Teenage Dirtbag. Yeah. What was it? What was it from the film? That song. Is I don't know. I used to so that was some that was like an American Pie rip-off video. So, no, it was from a film. Was it? Yeah. I know, I know the chick you're on about though. Yeah. yeah that's something. We're seeing anyway. that video. The yeah, skate. The skate chick. Is like, yeah. Anyway, it's terrible. I only made it halfway through. It was shit. Guys. The worst zombie film has to be the one I mentioned earlier. It's called Nazis at the Centre of the Earth. I think it had a budget of 10 or 25,000, I can't remember. Literally that small. It was awful, it was worth it. Last 10 minutes, Mecha Hitler turns up and it's pretty, that's a pretty funny visual. Um, but yeah, that's the worst one I've seen. Like I said, I'm not really, not. Just, it's too easy for me, the whole zombie thing. I get some, it's fine, but I'd rather there be just a few bad guys with a better reason to be wanting to kill you than like a hordes of mindless things. But I get why other people do and are into it. And it is fun on video games just to mow down, like. That, that's also no, a point. It's just guilt free no violence. Yeah, there's no emotional connection. I get that. You can you, just wouldn't you like to bash chab to zombies schools heads in? Mm, I'd like to <laughs> think that I would, but then I think that the actual act, they're still things, aren't they? Cause I no, at that point they're animal. dead. I couldn't do no. it to an animal even to eat. But they're, so, they're lower than animals on this scale. Yeah, they're, animals they're, are living. They've got a soul or whatever. Yeah, these things, things are dead. They, they're like rotting corpses. Believe know. me, when one comes towards you, you're fucking. You're, you're well, doing they're not it. going to do are they? So I, it could well, happen. Who knows? We've got a list of five here. Yeah, we'll get some. Well, yeah. if Patient Zero gets sucked into the jet engine at the airport, then we're all fucked. Let's but. let's not forget forget homeless guy on bath salts. Homeless <laughs> naked guy. Wait, yeah. homeless. So he wasn't homeless. He ate the homeless guy. Why yeah. are you pointing? Na- I mean, <laughs> that's not my future naked <laughs> which naked, is, is what the eating of naked the guy on bath salts <laughs> ate a homeless man's he, face he took he fun. took five rounds to the chest yeah. and then shot him in the head and I for one thought the zombie apocalypse he was, was here that, I, think, I did I was sort of prep no he was on that Polish shit that that guy gave me um, <laughs> I'm at home as you try to eat me guys <laughs> <laughs> I don't defend myself so, can we oh, wrap that, this thanks up. to Tory Cuts I'm not far off being homeless <laughs> <laughs> oh Oh, oh, oh. To the government, Mike. Oh, oh, you, you political yeah, analyst, you. I hate You're just going for no, a sh- no. you have a spot on the Young let's Turks, finish. aren't you? That's all it is. Did. Let's not start any more rants. We've been going a long time. Oh, yeah. Can we try and. Um, so, so we to get... wrap it up, zombies bad. <laughs> Zombie Living wife's good. Apparently bad. Zombie wife's bad. Sex with zombie wife, apparently bad. Bad. Bastard. Fascist. Uh, um, zombies bad. Survival in a flat for three months, okay. We think we can do that. Possibly. <laughs> Possibly. Um, that's, that's if all the uh, conditions are in our favour. Yeah. Yeah. We're probably going to have a masturbation room. There's a very room. large possibility that we're absolutely, unequivocally, biblically, Screwed. comprehensively fucked. Mm. So, hey, what are the chances do we think this, this could happen? I mean, the CDC seemed interested in it. A million to one. The CDC, so you, as we said, the CDC's planned as a fun adventure mm. so we all wouldn't feel so they bad when a bowler rips through us. We'll Actually, there, there, is a, as, we'll there is the CDC and um, Bristol City Council have advice for us on the apocalypse. For all Bristol, Bristolians. For some reason, Bristol... And they do say, isolate your family somewhere safe. Here, isolate your family, <laughs> right? In a germ-proof but, bunker. I was, do you know why, do you know I was why, going to go for it, but I, I couldn't put it off like that. That's, that's <laughs> pretty good. But do you, do you know why the, the, the CDC basically say their director, uh, Dr. Ali Khan, says that, uh, quote, if you are generally well equipped to deal with the zombie apocalypse, you'll be prepared for a hurricane, pandemic, earthquake, or terrorist attack. So basically, get enough people interested in the zombie apocalypse scenario, they'll get prepared, mm-hmm. and should anything really bad happen, the government has to do less work because their citizens mm-hmm. are prepared. Gets people interested in it. It's another uh, mind game on society. Yeah. It's a mind game on society. There you well, go. It's all put. It's all fitting together, guys. It's all. There's all one wider conspiracy. Well, we've got a week to find out, and I, I think I'm fucked. So I'm pretty fucked now, to be honest. So, dear listener, unless you guys, yeah, if you know. listen to this, this, and those um, events did happen, then. 
This will now be the apocalypse. No, let me tell you this. If you are listening to this podcast, the apocalypse didn't happen. Yeah. We're broadcasting through the apocalypse, though. Survive. Yay. Somehow. No, if they're listening. Yes, that's our pledge. The, uh, the listeners, we've got, yeah, we got, but, a, we've got if, a fan base to keep. <laughs> how many of them are going to be alive? <laughs> how many percent of you are alive? We've got to keep that fan that's base. That's how psychotic our ego is. Yeah. It's very <laughs> dead, <laughs> but we'll just keep on playing anyway. <laughs> we've got nothing else to do. We'll reanimate their corpses with our voices. So come yeah. on. I'm sure, I'm sure we've got a couple of. Um, Back catalogues of uh, Necromancer Weekly. Uh, <laughs> yeah. off. I'm sure right. we'll Come on, let's say right. goodbye. So I will say, um, put those sunglasses on, or prepare to eat that trash can. <laughs> um, I'll say free Biff Tannen, and I don't. I, you guys challenged me on that last week, and I've written an essay <laughs> called "In Defense of Biff Tannen," which I will read at the beginning of next week's recording. Oh, I look forward to that. Uh, we will. Yeah, you should, and I'll stand by my sign. Huh? My, because uh, I've always wanted to. Uh, a sign off that doesn't really make sense to anyone other than myself. So, free Biff Tannen, think, see you, you next time. I think you've succeeded. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say peace out. There you go. Bye. Good night.